That's not the right schedule. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <sighs> hmm. I uh, should really start waking up maybe an hour before these streams instead of 30 minutes. That might be a, a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a better idea but fortunately over the past uh, roughly week and a half I have managed to get myself addicted to energy drinks which is pretty impressive uh, I wouldn't say it's an actual addiction yet uh, but you know I was I was going shopping about a week ago actually it was before before Starfield release before the pre-access the early access and uh, I was in the store and I was thinking, well, I'm going to play a lot of Starfield, right? Like, oh, I'm going to play a lot of Starfield. So maybe I'll just get like energy drinks, right? Just like, just like keep myself up while I play that. Uh, thing is, I never actually drank them while I was playing Starfield because I was just like, I don't know, too tired for it. I played enough. I didn't feel like playing uh, 16 hours straight of Starfield each day. I only played 11 hours straight those three days. Uh, so I actually didn't drink them until last week when I was just like, you know what? I bought them. I might as well just try one, right? <laughs> I, might, I might as well have one. So I had one monster and um, I felt more focused than I had ever felt in my entire life. I was just like, damn, I can do a lot of stuff, you know? <laughs> And I did. I did do a lot of things. Got a lot of work done. And that was, uh, that was after one. Now, I checked, I checked the can and it said you really should not have more than one per day. And I believe them. Uh, I feel like that thing could, uh, probably kill someone above the age of 45. I, I really don't think that's, uh, yeah, I really don't think that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> It's a lot of caffeine in each of these cans. But, uh, yeah. It's an intervention you just stop. The energy drinks have changed you. No. More. I need more. Also, I think my chat is broken on both things here. Let me, let me re... Reopen that real quick. So, yeah, here we go. Now I have another, another monster this morning. Why not? <laughs> it's not an addiction yet. There's still plenty of time for that. Exactly. We can have an addiction later. After maybe, uh, maybe after 15 cans, we can say. That's an addiction. Maybe if I crack open two in a day, we can call that an addiction. Uh, but either way, how's school going? It's, uh, it's good. Except for quantum mechanics. That is significantly less good. Uh, very confusing, and I'm sure it's only going to get worse. Yeah, maybe after you start the monster IV drip, yeah. Maybe after I feed that directly into my veins, then we can call that maybe a slight problem. Here, let me adjust myself. I need to simultaneously make my head bigger, but make my shoulders smaller. It's kind of hard to do that. So I want chat to be visible. Here, you know what, chat? You can be right... Right there. How's that? Two becomes three, three becomes four, four becomes heart palpitations. Yeah, I remember a guy back when I was in high school. There was one dude who I will never forget. Every single art class, no matter when it was, like, because, you know, classes, they changed times throughout the week. You know, you had four classes, but they would change what period they were in. Um, And no matter what day of the week it was, this guy would always come into art class with a monster always uh and he was like 16 i don't know how you get addicted to caffeine at the age of 16 like come on bro the school started at like 9 30 you had plenty of time to get up but whatever i you know what i hope that guy's doing all right he 
if you understand quantum mechanics, you're not understanding it. <laughs> yeah, literal Dunning-Kruger effect. If you think you understand it, yes, because you actually don't understand anything at all. And there's still so much more to know. Anyway, we're going to be playing Aragon today, because... I really couldn't give you a solid reason. Uh, we're just playing Aragon, that's it. Now, fair warning, I actually don't know how to swap into a Peasant Republic, and I don't know how much of the mission tree it breaks, exactly. I don't think they were meant to be a Peasant Republic. But, there are achievements that you can get by being a Peasant Republic as Aragon, and uh, there's also the Consulate of the Sea, I think it's called, that I have not achieved yet. And uh, there are also like two Spain achievements I feel like I might want to grab. So, you know, might go ahead and do that. Uh, avert your eyes chat, that's definitely not like a, a thing. <laughs> you see nothing chat. Uh... Not Rome. Uh, Peasant Aragon. Kids get addicted to nicotine at the age of 13, so I think caffeine is alright. Mm hmm. That could have been me, actually. There were a lot of people in my school that vaped. Let me see. Uh, I missed more things. Must be the local man paralyzed after eating 412 chicken nuggets. Only 412 rookie numbers. Our class without drugs and caffeine is no fun. True? Real? You can't do the new one. Need to form Spain with anyone but Aragon. Wait, what? Isn't there a... <laughs> yes, you're telling me the limit is 411. <laughs> uh, right, so... The, uh, the achievements are going after. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, that's not it. The Reapers, starting as Aragon, be a peasant republic and have Madrid and Paris owned by any peasant republic, which could be me, of course. Uh, and then we have Spain as the emperor. Just be Spain, be the emperor. Yeah. Uh, as Spain have reformed Tarcios and control three great power capitals at the same time. Pretty lame, but I guess I could do that. Uh, Consulate of the Sea as Aragon conquer everything. So, do you actually have to be Aragon for this? Or can you be Spain for that? Uh, actually, that's a good question for... Well, the other one says starting as Aragon. Be a peasant republic, so... We obviously don't have to be Aragon for that. We could be Spain for some of these, I think. But yeah, basically those are the achievements we're looking for. <sighs> no CB Byzantium. Mm, probably will, to be honest. That is uh, the default Aragon strat. Stay or are going to be safe? I guess. I guess. I mean, there is a very extensive Aragon tree. The only problem is I actually don't know how to become a peasant republic, so I'm going to look that up real quick. <laughs> I have no idea how that works. I'm sure it's some event. Uh, let's see. E4 Aragon. Peasant republic. Here we go. Never mind, I have to find the events. Aragonese events. Isn't... Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have here. Uh, okay. Syndicate Remensa. If you're Aragon and we own Catalonia, then we have to wait about five years. And if we have... Domination. 
Actually, never mind. We're always allowed to do this. And we can become a present republic. Okay, so just like wait five years, it seems. It seems. Uh, counts if you form Spain. Sounds good. It's an event that happens soon after you start. Now, let me see the, the uh, Iberian wedding. <sighs> Iberian wedding's a fun one. So you need to be a monarchy to get the Iberian wedding. And that has a mean time to happen of 120 months. If Castile has a regency, otherwise it is a 1,200 months. <laughs> so it goes from being 10 years to much longer than that. Right. Right, okay. Uh, so it looks like Peasant Republic is going to make us un ineligible. The Iberian Wedding, which kind of sucks. You know, that that's... Yeah. You can't do no country for old Tarsios as Aragonese Spain as it requires a Castilian mission reward to get. Well... That sucks. Never mind, cross that one out. Maybe if you can get a female ruler right away. Uh, that would be hard. If it fires for Castile, you would get them? Okay, now I'm gonna look up more things. One second. Alright, so the Iberian Wedding can fire... Okay, yes. There's one for Castile, and there's one for Aragon. Okay, let's see here. So, if the... Okay, so, the thing is... Uh... Both events require both countries to be monarchies. So, it's like a whatever. Uh, I don't think Aragon was designed to be played as a peasant republic. <laughs> Something tells me. But, you know, we're just going to have to live with that. Uh, I suppose we're just going to have to invade Castile the regular way. Now, when it comes to the Union CV on Portugal, I think that's still valid even as a republic. You can have uh, unions. The problem is that you're going to need to re-elect the same guy multiple times until that union likes you. Otherwise, it's still subject to um, to the same rules of independence on uh, on ruler change for PUs. So, like the Netherlands can get a PU over England, you know. Like we we know this works; it's fine. Uh, the only problem is uh, actually getting that to work out. Uh, let's see. We're gone, peasant republic. There was also a Reddit post that I saw. Okay, uh, someone's asking, does it remove the chance of getting union over Castile? Both need to be monarchies. Okay. Yes. If you revert to the basic, to the to default 1.35, you can actually get the union as a peasant republic over Castile. That's cool. Because, like, they never had it in the requirements previously. When they first had 1.35, you could... You have to be able to make royal marriages to maintain PUs? I don't believe so. I don't... Be able to maintain a PU... Well, okay, so... No, 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 because when you swap to a republic, you keep your PUs, right? As far as I'm aware? If you decide to, you know, if you have a PU and then you change your Republic, then you get to keep your PUs and that's fine. I don't, I don't think you need to... I don't think you do lose... Okay, well, maybe we're both right and maybe I'm referring to a previous patch and maybe it does now. I don't know. Okay, time to do more research.
Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm looking at this Quag video. Oh god, you guys remember Quagersol? He hasn't uploaded in a hot minute. Uh, he did upload relatively recently, but anyway. Uh, he did a video like three years ago that's literally titled 13 Personal Unions as a Republic. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, wait, let me see who he's playing as. He's playing as Bavaria, and he has 13 personal unions as a Republic as Bavaria, so that's cool. Uh, I'm guessing you get to keep your personal unions, then. I'm guessing that's a thing you're allowed to do, maybe. Yeah, he swapped to a Republic as Bavaria. And he kept all 13 of his personal unions, so I'm thinking it works. <laughs> I think it works still. On launch 1.35, he kept the Naples PU when he swapped to Peasant Republic. Ah, there you go. So we're, we're good. We're chilling. So you do keep your PU when you become a, uh, a Republic, so we're vibing. Absolutely chilling. In that case, though, uh, what do we want to do? Let me look at this mission tree. We own everything in Catalonia, one stability. That's decent, I suppose. Integrate Naples. Uh, right, how does the whole Naples thing go? I know when the current king dies, there's like a whole event where we can give his brother Naples, and that was like supposed to happen, but I think we can just say no. Let's see. Neapolitan succession. We can just say, uh, no, we're keeping Naples. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, or we could let them go and then take it back. Good question. You can just say no. I think we'll try and just say no. I don't know if they'll be able to do anything about it. Anyway, since we can't get our union over Castile, where it's very unlikely, uh, we'll just go ahead and rival them. And I think, who else do we want to rival? Not France, they could be helpful, actually. They want to ally, actually? That would be great. French ally would be useful. Uh, Hungary, I don't care about. England, I don't care about. Ottomans? Maybe. I might actually want to fight Ottomans early, see if I can get Hungary as an ally, fight the Ottomans after Nosu being Byzantium. Hmm. That could be helpful. Cause yeah, we don't want to fight a strong Ottomans, we'll just kill them early. Uh, so who actually doesn't like you? Hungary, Mamluks, Austria, okay. I don't know if we'll get Austria. Oh wait, we can get Austria. Okay. Hungary doesn't like us. Poland doesn't care about the Ottomans anymore. Uh, okay, since we want to kill the Ottomans early, we'll do that. And then, I don't even know who else. Like, England? Venice, maybe? Hmm... Maybe Genoa. I don't care about those guys very much. Genoa seems like someone we would quickly outclass. Pass with console commands on a non-Iron Man save? Nah. I'm gonna take that back. We'll go with the default stuff. This, this, this. Uh, give me... That, and that. Expansion of Zealotry? No. 
I'll grab this. Wait, no, isn't there that other thing I should have grabbed? For sanctuaries, I do want that. That. And I want... Is that good? That's probably good. I don't want them to have, like... I, like, I don't want too much. Too much influence on these states, otherwise they'll take my land from me. I don't like that. The sound intentionally turned off. Sound is on, and I can actually see the bar uh, in the studio itself. So... But, uh, hey, I'll try it again anyway. I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, I just set it to default. It should be on. He means game audio. Yeah, I know. I know you guys can hear me. You guys can hear this, right? Sound of things happening? No? What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? How's that even possible? What if I do that? What? Huh? Still not- that doesn't even make sense. I didn't change anything. OBS picks it up just fine. Hold on. Wait, let me... I'm turning up my phone. You guys are lying to me. There is audio. You guys are lying to me. It's just quiet. I turned up my phone and I can hear myself clicking on the provinces. I've been gaslit. All of chat. Nope, nope. You guys are gaslighting me. I will turn it up for you guys. However... I turned up my phone to max volume, I put it up to my ear, I clicked on provinces, and I could hear myself through the stream. I have been professionally gaslit. Here, I'm, I'm gonna do it again. Hold on. No game sound. What? It's very quiet. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I didn't change anything, so I don't know what the problem is. Uh. Uh. i turn that up a little bit, see if that fixes it. Hmm, that's a weird dilemma. What happens if you don't change anything and all of a sudden things become quieter? What do you do, chat? What do you do at that point? At a certain point, it would just become so loud that it blasts off my own ears.
Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm turning up everything, okay? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How's that, chat? Is that good for you? Is that good enough? Now it's normal sound? Impossible. There's no way. I have cranked it up to maximum. There's no way. My ears are drowning in sounds right now. Still quiet? Impo no. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have to actually take out my earbuds for this, though. Let me try this. Is it possible? There. Hey. <laughs> How's that? Is that good for you guys? Is that working? Is that what you needed to hear? <laughs> okay. Uh, problem is, that is incredibly loud in my earbuds. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna turn that down, actually. Okay, I have discovered a problem. An impasse, even. Uh, unfortunately, that destroys my eardrums. Right? Which means... Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> That's too bad, actually. Sorry, but uh, I'm not going to listen to that the entire time. Oh my god, that's so loud. Jesus Christ. Okay, we clearly have an issue. Uh, what you guys say is too quiet, I say is way too loud for my ears. And my ears matter more, so that's too bad. Uh, I think, actually, I can add it here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me try this. I have a solution that might work. Whoa, not that much. Hold on, I do this. I do this. I do that. I do that. I do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I do that. And I turn it down because holy, that is so loud. That's still super loud for me. Hold on. One more thing. Drop that down slightly. Okay. I know what the problem is, but, chat, does this fix the problem for you? This is fine. That's good. There we go. Okay. I figured out what the problem is. So, I didn't realize that uh, the audio for Streamlabs comes directly from the audio setting you have uh, in Windows, right? I thought audio is audio, the Windows audio setting, like how loud it is in my headphones. Uh, I thought that was just like for my headphones, that's it. No, it actually changes the audio levels of the entire system, right? It's not just how my ears work. It's not just like how the headphones display, or display, what the hell? You know, put out the audio. It's like the whole system. So, when I, um, when I changed headphones, I was like, wow, my Windows audio is really loud. I'm going to turn that down. Turns out that changes it for everything. So, uh, hey, there you go. 
But that actually means I was still correct, and there was audio, so I was still being gaslit. But anyway... What headphones you got where they display audio? <laughs> got those fancy 4D headphones. Anyway, uh, right. Audio is good, nothing's too loud. Hopefully. How much were they? Okay, so... <laughs> these headphones are actually just, uh, earbuds. I had to swap them out because my headphones were kind of like messing with me a little bit. Messing with my, uh, my hair, so... Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so... We need to know CB Byzantium, that's the first thing we're gonna do. So... Let me pick up my ships. We have 14,000. We're gonna bring... Fourteen thousand men with the king. Uh, I kind of like that king, so I prefer not to. That's still really loud in my ears. I won't lie. Maybe if I just do like that. Okay, I can work with that. I can live. Then we're going to unpause a day. I don't think we have to do anything else, right? Merchants. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, let's unpause now. <laughs> uh, what else do we want, actually? This guy's gonna take over soon. He actually sucks. Should I get rid of him? Hmm... I might want to get rid of him. Is there anything, like, any event that's important with this heir? Do I care, really? Any reason I should keep him around? Navara. That's the ruler of Navara. What? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. I'll just vassalize Navarra. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, 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 I guess I could just... Ally. Improve relations. Vassalize. Yeah, I don't want to pee you, Navarra. That's so cringe. We're going to ally just vassalize him. Easy. Can't even be bothered to invade them, because that's a mountain fort, and I really, literally cannot be bothered. Should also get a royal marriage, I think. Make life easy. Uh, let me also ally Austria. Does vassalizing Navarra still make them a PU later? I have no idea. The king is old, so rolling for talented daughter is a good way to get good stats plus Iberian wedding. I mean, if we can get fast enough Iberian wedding, that'd be sick. If I don't care about this heir, if disinheriting him doesn't really matter, then... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I don't care. That makes you upset. What does that make you upset? Oh, negative prestige, right? To use and all that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we should get an admiral. Good thing we already have one. Burgundy rival, don't care. Plus ratio. Why mon speed too? Hey, what's up? Uh, what do you guys want? Papal state likes me. Provence subject. No, Corsica. Or owned by me. You want me to take Corsica? Uh, they're in the HRE, so no. Alright, off to Byzantium we go. Well, marriage? Sure. 
improve relations with you as soon as possible. The Infantes of Aragon. Uh... Uh... So, basically, we want the top option, right? Since we're not going to be able to get the personal union, or there's like a really small chance of getting it. Like, it's a really small chance. We're not going to get the PU because we're going to become a peasant republic. So this only gives us trust and some opinion, but perma claims in all land that Castile owns? Hmm. Now that's an idea. I'm taking the top option. The main time to happen for the Iberian wedding is too long for the Peasant Republic thing, so we're just gonna... yeah. Mm, I don't think I should know CB them until... Well, hold on. Yeah, you have no truce with the Ottomans, but... The Ottomans don't usually attack Byzantium, like, day one, you know? Well, hold on. Before I declare war... Uh, is there anybody else I should ally? Because we might... Get pushed into a defensive war against the Ottomans. No, I don't think so. Hmm... Okay, I think we're going to wait until we're closer to Byzantium before we actually declare the war. And improve relations with you. You don't actually need this or this or that on. Except I've been raided, so I will keep that on. Hey, thank you, Logan Patry, for the $10. Just want to let you know that you can download streams by putting PI after YouTube in the link. Really? Wait, seriously? Okay, I'll have to remember that. Because uh, I had to resort to just using the in-system one that YouTube gives every YouTuber. And uh, it only lets you download a 720p, which sucks. Yeah, there's a pretty low chance of Byzantium getting, like, any allies at all. Other than, of course, the one that they do get. They always get one. Moldavia, Wallachia, or Serbia, it's always one of them. All right, here. Uh, no CB. I don't have stability for that. That guy is half cost. Where did I get a half cost stability guy from? Okay, whatever. I'll take him. Uh, anything else to do? I don't think so. Nothing personnel, kid. should hopefully be a win. We have double the people. Ever gone to Roman Empire? Ah, uh, probably not. But we do have to grab the, uh, oh, whatever it's called. The de facto Mare Nostrum one. Consulate of the Sea. Yeah. Let me in. I hate how long these take. Don't need that or that or that up. Improving relations with you so we can just uh, vassalize perfect. You're probably fine with us. Okay, now there's a relatively decent chance 
that the Ottomans might actually decide to declare on Byzantium, which would definitely be interesting. We might maybe possibly be able to beat up the Ottomans if we do that, because then we would have um, Austria, France, and Naples, of course, our uh, not loyal, but subject. Let me just uh, improve those relations a little bit. New Cardinal, perfect. These guys should be able to reinforce fast enough for that. There we go. One of my games, they got Serbia. Mm hmm. Vassalizing Serbia immediately. Right, if you cobble the Druid, them, that would make sense. That would be pretty lucky, though, to get Serbia as a... Uh, as a co-belligerent without anything, like a large ally or something. Give us your in-depth and incredibly detailed opinion on moose. Okay, so moose are actually terrifying, right? Moose are much larger than you think they are. You might think like a moose is like, you know, probably, you know, a little bit taller than the average person. Right? Maybe like, uh, I don't know, two and a half meters? Uh, no, those things are massive. Moose are actually enormous animals. Uh, and they're kind of terrifying, you know? Have you ever seen a video of a moose just, like, charging through snow? Oh, damn, that was fast. Uh, cool. Thank you, France. I love that. I really appreciate that. Anyway. Um, have you ever seen a, a moose charging? Uh, those things are like trains. You know, you're not stopping those. Also, uh... Wait. Yeah, we have a Devalwa. That's really funny, actually. And they claimed my throne, right. That's, uh, that's what they did. Thank you, France. It's really neat. It's really cool. I really appreciate that. Any thoughts on beavers? Uh, those guys are pretty cool. Imagine being an animal that exists just to, like, build stuff out of wood. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, we do that. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna keep Naples. Wait, isn't there an option to retake Naples after we lose Naples and then they don't have 50 Liberty Desire? Hmm. I'm gonna check that actually. See missions. Well, I know the missions want you to integrate Naples, but hold on. Okay, uh if we let Naples go, then uh-huh. The Neapolitan succession, they break the union, they get a new ruler. Uh, the disputed succession, which happens if we do not have a restoration of Union CB against Naples. If we are Aragon, are a monarchy, and we have the Neapolitan, bleh, yeah, Neapolitan succession, and has a ruler that isn't marked as Alfonso's successor? Wait, what does that even mean? If we do not have Alphonse, okay. Oh, okay. So, wait. If we pick letting them go free... Then, the ruler of Aragon is marked as the successor. But if we do that... Then... We cannot get the Union back. So we should not... Let them go. Let 
Let me see. Uh, right. Right. Vassalize Navara. Sure, sure, sure. The War of Ramals. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Oof, okay, this is definitely a whole tree. Alright, uh, we're going to keep Naples. Yeah. We're not having a great time, that's zero legitimacy. Not, uh, not great, you know. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll fix it. We didn't have a very good start with the guy dying so quickly, that was pretty bad. I will take that professionalism though. Wait, will I? I don't want Byzantium to not like me because we are going to vassalize them. So. Okay, we're going to have to take loans probably. That's life. That's okay. We're doing them. We're, 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 yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're doing fine. Here, let me take out the good loans, actually. If I'm going to take out loans, might as well be good ones. Could have done that before I took out that loan, actually. Where are my burger loans? Oh. Huh? There we go. Okay, uh, we need to grab this. I'm not sure what to do with Athens. If we vassalize Byzantium, I don't think we get Athens. I think they just become independent. Wait, should I... Can I... Just take everything from Byzantium and re-release them? That seems like the better option, doesn't it? If I vassalize them at 7638 aggressive expansion... 98. Okay, so it's 22 more Diplo. Yeah, if we want the defensive war, then we don't annex them. But I don't know if the Ottomans are really going to take the bait on that. I don't think they will. If the Ottomans take the bait... Then we just vassalize them. Get both? Okay, we cannot do both. We can't vassalize and take the land. That kind of defeats the purpose. Also, I think the early game is going to have a lot of admin usage, so I'm just going to pump up a little bit of admin. should make the estate privilege list more compact. I think they should as well. It's a little bit cluttered. Is that worth fighting? Could we fight that? Yes. It was a question of whether or not Byzantium would reinforce on time. can't fight you there. Okay, problem. We need six people here, seven people, and four people there. We don't have enough for either. Or not for both, at least. We can start off by sending... Four thousand that direction. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do that. And if they decide to move, we can easily go back over here. Uh, France wants to break the alliance because they want to personal union me, which is super cringe. Also, we have negative stability, negative prestige, so legitimacy is bad. Yikes. We're not having a very good time. <laughs>
Is that Peasant Republic thing from a bit ago? Yep, we're gonna do Peasant Republic things. We do have the other stack, that's true. I don't think we have to bring it over though. I think we'll be okay. More sailors, thanks. Yeah, that's definitely what we need right now. <laughs> Super important, I can assure you. I have a feeling the Ottomans are not taking the bait. I don't see them here, and I don't see them here, which means they're not really preparing to attack. So, uh, Sag. No defensive war. I'll need to wait for Austria to be favorable. France just doesn't like me because they're cringe. Classic France moment. Hey, their debt, they have some. Hmm. Trying to calculate if that's worth it. Paying their debt now is only going to make them bolder because they'll have more money. And it won't make them loyal. I'd rather wait a little bit. I'll, I'll uh, pay off their debt when it would make them loyal. Or when any combination would make them loyal. Yeah, thank you, France. That's cool. We have to wait five years and then they're going to try and kill me. Uh, can I hit a reverse PU on France? Is that possible? Like, imagine for a second, right? Imagine they declare a war of restoration of Union. Can I, like... Can I hit him with that Uno reverse card in the same war? Not worth having France support them. It's actually, it's against France's interest to support Naples. So France wants to invade me and create a personal union, right? And if they personal union me, then they also get Naples. So I don't know if the AI thinks that far ahead, but it is against their interest to support Naples. AI doesn't know. Yeah, they are stupid, that's true. Hmm... Maybe. Religion in Constantinople changes to Catholic. Culture becomes Catalan, holy based. Alright, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. There is a chance that they would support independence. It would just be really funny. I think, if, if there's anything, right, I think France would probably declare for the Union, not for Naples independence. But then that's not even up to France, is it? Oh god, man. Okay, so... I don't even know. I really don't even know. A whole lot of, I don't know. I haven't played enough Aragon, to be honest. To be Aragonist. <laughs> uh. Truce with Naples is over. Mmm, okay. Uh, how many points could I spend to make that fine? Let's see here. So, let's say I dev that a little bit. Do I have enough points at all to make Naples loyal? Maybe. Five percent, that wasn't worth anything.
tragic, to be honest. Concentrate the development of Naples. That'd be a good idea. Oh, wait, what are all these? Hold on. We get immediate access to holy orders. More like a holy based. Local goods produce 10%. Dev cost. That's a lot to choose from. Hm. Base tax meta, let's go. Alright, how do I even... I want to be friends with Naples, but they don't want to be friends with me. This would be... 20% Liberty Desire, so 74%. And then what is it, like 5 dev clicks? Each dev click is 5%? I could make them loyal, I guess. Uh, Trade favors for trust. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, I can't afford that guy. Short of improving relations more, I don't exactly know how that's going to work. Yeah, support loyalists seems to be like the only option. Support loyalists and develop a little bit. Uh, we'll use Diplo Dev because I care less about Diplo Dev than Mill Dev. Okay, it is 5% per click. Okay. Be friends with me, thank you. God damn. Give them Sicily? I will not be giving them Sicily. Oh my god, you are so cringe. You know that? You know how cringe you are, actually? Genuinely. Genuinely cringe. you sucks to Clara on Naples. End them. Okay. Loyal Naples, I guess. Now we just need to make them loyal enough to uh, stop supporting loyalists. Aragonese noble rebels. Yeah, that, that one actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, how bad is that, even? Horrible legitimacy. War exhaustion is not looking too hot. Yeah, I could actually see that. Let's try and fix that slightly. Here, let me actually also grab that. Money is fake and not real. Who cares? Don't need that anymore, probably. Uh, okay, the Ottomans are not interested in Byzantium. Who cares? We'll just take our land and leave then. I'll even give them Athens because I'm such a nice guy. No CB Muscovy. Let's go. Easy dub. Okay, who are we fighting after this? Probably, like, Castile, but also no, because that's an England alliance. Uh, weird, because usually you guys hate each other, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, France is still going to have to wait a couple of years, so we don't care. Not Pope Man. Mmm, Granada would be really funny. Might want to try and stabilize after this war, actually. <laughs> Attack the Mamluks, they've had it too good for too long. Mm hmm. POV playing near Castile, somehow all of their historical rivals are now friends. Yeah, hey, remember that whole, um. Spanish English rivalry? Remember that? 
I remember that. I remember how they uh, didn't like each other that much. But that was more like after the whole Protestantism thing. Spain was like, hey, uh, do you mind not splitting away from the Catholic Church? And England was at, like, actually, fuck you. Uh, and then a big war happened. Yeah, if we could get the Allies for it, the Byzantium, or sorry, the Ottoman War would be great to start off with. Uh, in that case, I should build more galleys, shouldn't I? We only have nine galleys. And uh, ultimately, we want more so we can control the strait. Wait, can I barrage this uh, navy? No, I need a hundred. Sorry, I need 200 cannons. Right, uh, yeah, I would need 200 cannons to barrage Gilibaloo. But if I could barrage this and assault it, take it in the first few days, then we would already hold the strait. And then maybe we could do stuff. Because they are fighting a war in Anatolia right now. So if I could get more galleys, galleys each have uh, 12 cannons and we need 200. So yeah, I don't know, bruh. We'll just build some galleys. Why do you even get rid of the barks? What are the barks doing for me? The barks are giving me six out of our 85. So we would have 79, which means we would not be losing that much money by getting rid of the, mar uh, the barks. So we're going to sell those, actually. Sell those to... Portugal? Hey, do you want some ships? Right, I'm at war. Never mind. <laughs> we'll start building the galleys. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. Let's just make it six. Make that a nice 15 galleys. How many galleys do the Ottomans have? Ottomans have seven. Okay, yeah, if we can build a few more galleys, then we can definitely beat the uh, Ottoman navy. They're only actually allied to Ramazan. So if I could get, somehow, if I could convince Austria to help me. Like, I don't know, maybe curry favors or something. If I could somehow convince them. Uh, that would be nice. Otherwise, I think we could still beat them. It would just be more painful. The only problem is that, like, France is kind of breathing down my neck. So getting another alliance would be cool. Maybe, like... I don't know, people do not like me. Uh, what about Bohemia? Didn't they like me? They do not anymore. Okay. Pope man. Pope man would ally me. That's good. Vassalize Epirus. For what reason? They're also allied to the Pope. I guess that's why we would have to vassalize them. But they would say no. You get their boats? Uh, that, that is true. We would get their boats. That is fair. Uh, what about the Byzantines? We kind of destroyed their navy, so they don't have much left. We have the Neapolitan navy. And we'll have our navy. Which are already stronger than the Ottomans. Please give me this fort. I would love to have that fort. Oh, here we go. Uh, sorry, oh, what? Yo. I'll never forgive the French. Never. They're not going to move. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll fight you. 
Unless you're willing to surrender. I mean, I'll accept a surrender. No surrender. Okay, well, you're cringe, so... But now, would you like to surrender? Uh, they would. Okay, good. The Ottomans are not interested, so there's no point in uh, worrying about that. We should just annex and release them, I think. You would allow full annexation, but you wouldn't give me all your money. Why? Okay, hold on. I'm going to take this real quick. <laughs> You know what? Good enough. I don't even care. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ninety-eight, as opposed to seventy-six. Oh right, it's because I'm also taking Athens. Yeah, it's the same diplo cost, right? Okay, in that case, then it's kind of irrelevant. I'll just take them. Take that. Take that. Money. Not all of it. And, uh, good, yes, Moldavia actually would leave, never mind, we'll do that then. Because then I can get full money. Will that actually give you full money, true and real? Okay, there we go, that's full money. Will annex. And then we release them as a subject. There we go. See, now they don't hate us anymore. That's good. Too many relations, though. Ooh. Right, hold on. Uh, we'll just improve relations with Navarra, vassalize them, and get strong duchies. Easy. We can't get it right now, even though we have... Never mind, I lied. Strong duchies. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, uh, ignore that. Cool, strong duchies. That, uh, that works. They changed strong duchies to include PUs? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. Because, like... I was pretty sure, like 90% sure, that PUs didn't count in strong duchies. Glad to hear I'm not crazy, and that they did change that. Right, Naples don't need that anymore. They are uh, less cringe, so that's good. Alright, now what? Now we have some problems going on back home. Like, a lot of peasants, maybe. Or, uh, not peasants, noble rebels. Equally cringe. Mostly because of the legitimacy. Right. Well, we need that for Pike Square, so we can't actually give up on that legitimacy. We just have to hope we get there on time. Uh, in that case, I might actually remove that. And I might do this. Hey, do you want some ships, by the way? Like a couple of ships? I know you guys like ships. No? Okay. Uh, hey, Pope Man, you want some ships? Does nobody want ships? You what ships? You want ships? Oh my god, please. Anybody? Does anybody want my ships? They're literally free. Ships? Okay, what if I split them off into, like, one ship? Ships? Yes, okay, now we're talking. I know you guys like ships. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh... Right, your arrival? Forgot? You want a ship? Oh, yeah, that, that's good money. That's good. That's good. I know you like ships. Do I hear a 25? I do. Wait, isn't that more than a light costs? <laughs> I just robbed these guys for that. That's so funny. 
All right, uh, ships, ships. Anybody else want some ships? Can't sell ships to subjects. That's stupid. What about you, you want a ship, Pope? Do I hear? Come on, let me. Slider. Why can't I get the funky numbers on my slider? I hate this slider so much. I hate it. I despise it. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Doesn't doesn't matter. Oh, uh, 20, 20 ducats. There you go. Uh, what about you? You want a ship? Hey, kid. Want to buy a ship? What about Venice? I know you guys don't like me, but, like, I know you like ships. Yeah, you know you want some ships. Oh, what about Austria? Hey, buddy. That's a whole navy. Wait, what? Do not sell the whole navy. <laughs> Anybody want a ship? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Do I hear 25? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Build ships and sell them for a five ducat profit. Viable strategy. Be the arms manufacturer of the world. Wait, I wonder if that's... Okay, it's not like a legitimate playthrough. But, it would be funny, because you can get minus 10% from Maritime. Uh, I don't think there's another way to decrease that though. Naval? There's got to be a way to decrease the ship cost. Naval defensive? Okay. Naval, defensive, mercenary. Okay, we're working with that. The burger privilege, true. Wait, did you say plutocracy? Plutocratic? That's lightship cost. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So that's minus 15. If we just sell lightships, right? Then you could get minus 15. So that's minus 25. Uh, minus 35. Maybe if you want to count quantity, but we're just going to go with lightships. Minus 45%. Okay. So we pick up all the ideas. Minus 45%. AI stops buying at force limit though? Okay. Consider the following. You go to war with a country, right? You destroy their army and their navy. Alright, just absolutely obliterate it. But, you don't take land, okay? You just take money from them. And then you improve relations... You wait like 10 years, and then you start selling them ships. I think that would be a good idea. Or better yet, okay? You gotta sell them ships that are really low quality. Uh, and then they'll just like, degrade over time, right? And then you can sell them more ships. I'm just going to try and suppress all these issues. Uh, we need like 2,000 more people back home. Ooh, 0 0.4 on that. What's your issue? Would 
legitimacy, war exhaustion. But that's Neapolitan separatists, so that's fine. I, I really just don't want to fight these. <laughs> Please do not rise up. Please do not rise up. 4% chance. It's super unlikely. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Minus 1.6. Okay. Doing crazy micro just to get rid of these. Ah, corruption. That, that's that's really great. That's what I wanted right now. <laughs> that's what I really needed. Sell the ships at 1% health and a port over ocean tiles. I don't actually know. Wait, do they... I think the ships automatically teleport, don't they, when you sell them? Although I'm not sure about that. Maybe they don't. Ah, yes. Corruption, my favorite. I love corruption so much. Thank you, game. I really wanted that corruption. How did you know? Okay, we have solved the problem. Nice. Eventually, uh, the war exhaustion will go down, legitimacy will go up, or we become a peasant republic. Who knows? Isn't AI immune to boat attrition? Oh yeah, you're right, they are. This AI is literally too stupid to navigate if they don't. Anything wacky this run? Well, uh, we're going Peasant Republic. Whenever that fires. Uh, right, wait, why are you... I hate this game so much, bro. Wasn't I, like, two away from getting this? Day one, I allied and improved relations. I've been improving relations since day one, and I was, like, two away, and they just got it anyway. Okay. Alright then. Uh, does this matter to me very much? We do get claims, but they're not claims I can really use at the moment. As for this, doesn't really matter. Man, that is a super hogboxed Castile. Sheesh. You already have those claims? The France claims? We don't have the France claims. These are France claims. Provence? Oh, no, you're right. Some of these are Castile claims. Never mind, you're right. Uh, I just saw the Provence one, and I'm like, oh, it's France. Right here. But you're right. I mean, that would be the only useful one. We have everything else already. Uh, intervening Castile. We definitely want to fight them. Like, not right now. <laughs> Man. Well, that's life, I guess. Amazon and Tlemcen. It wouldn't be that bad to fight. The question is, do I go ahead and fight the Ottomans right now? If I could convince Austria, then maybe. But at 0 0.14... Okay, yeah, at 0 0.14 a year, or per month, we're looking at 1.4 per year. 
and we need four. What is that like? Three years and change. Wait for Iberian wedding. Uh, we don't get that luxury. It's really not going to happen. Yeah, it's definitely not going to happen. Before the Peasant Republic. I don't know. I could just become Peasant Republic. And then fight them. Big problem right now is France. But uh, Austria is my ally. So I don't know if France is going to fight me. Actually, I don't want this. I'll just get rid of it. Well, I could sell it. Hey, do you want a second ship? Wouldn't be wouldn't it be like really crazy? Like listen. Listen, what if I gave you a second ship? What about that? Oh hell yeah, let's go. What are we looking at? Minus 3.8? Can I turn that down then? Yes, I think so. All right, you know what? We're going to go with uh we're going to go with having Austria help us. We'll kill him. Take to Lemson. That'd be a tough sell. I could maybe take Renata. It would be super funny. Oh yeah, when can we integrate Naples? It's gonna be the 50 year thing, isn't it? Yep, okay, never mind, it's 50 years. Wait. 1492. Was the Union actually formed two years before game start? Well, now I wanna check. Hold on a second. I'm checking. Literally, yes. Huh. Charles' daughter, uh, Joanna, adopted King Alfonso V of Aragon as heir, who would then unite Naples into his Aragonese dominions in 1442. Literally, yes. Two years before. Huh. Okay, so we do actually get rebels. I thought maybe I could turn it down a little bit, but no. We can do like that, maybe. Right, we need Pope Man to like us. I forgot about that. All right, Pope. Actually, do you want to ally? Solid. Love being allied to the Pope. Burgers are a little bit salty, but I need that land. Uh, let's give them three more months, and then we'll press the button. One, do something. Add a little bit. <sighs> what you can do is occupy Byzantium, wait for Ottomans to declare them vassalized. Okay, except the Ottomans tend to lose interest in Byzantium if Constantinople is uh, occupied. 
After my many years of cheesing the Ottomans by vassalizing Byzantium, this is what I have discovered. They tend to, like, not care that much once you do that. Okay, what do you want? Uh, I'm not doing that. Urgel. Don't know what that is, but sounds good, bro. Uh, because I don't want to build a castle. That's expensive. Although, maybe I could pay off the loans. Just, like, not for a while. Maybe I can pay off the loans. You know, yeah, you know what? Fine. I'll pretend like I'm going to pay off the loans. You know, uh, banks don't want you to know this, but uh, you actually don't have to pay off the loans. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. Shouldn't have done that. But, uh... <laughs> they don't want you to know this, but, uh... What are they gonna do? Just, like, don't repay the loans. What are, you, what are they gonna do about it? What, are they gonna take the money? You gonna take the money back? I don't have it anymore. It's gone. Okay, at least we're not gaining, like, a ridiculous amount of autonomy. Why do you have 90... What? You guys have ridiculous autonomy. Why? All provinces in Catalonia need to have less than 10%. Bro. Why do you guys start with so much autonomy? <laughs> uh... Okay. Okay. Does everything have autonomy in this country? No, it's just these provinces have a lot of autonomy. Hmm. Alright. Oh, right. Now, of course, the Austrian ruler is malevolent. That's great. Yeah, I love to see that. Wait, the French claim on my throne expired. That was all for nothing. A whole nothing burger. Orbit Starfield? Uh, I did play Starfield. What about it? This was a whole nothing burger. Wait, and now they don't want to... These guys are so cringe. Okay, hold on a second. We're just, we're going to be friends again for a minute. I don't even know, bro. Okay, wait, who are you allied with? No, I'm allied with uh, Austria. That's why they don't like me. Okay, whatever. I don't care. We're going to be friends for a minute. We play more. Uh, Yes. I plan to play more. Might even play more today. Wait, I have a negative opinion of them, so we can't ally. <sighs> okay. That's really cool. I forgot about that neat little... Yeah, that little thing. That small issue. That's cool. Uh, that's really cool. Also, I should royal marry you. I want more royal marriages, even though my legitimacy is still going to be garbage. Okay, yeah, there's nothing we can do. We're just gonna sit here. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, wait, you, you thought... Wait, you were talking about streaming Starfield. I thought you talked... Oh, you meant just like playing it. I'm like, ah, I might play it today, yeah.
we are clearly not talking about the same thing. <laughs> There we go. We're going to send everybody over. I think we might be able to win against the Ottomans. Only problem is, uh, Ottomans are fighting Epirus, which means their army is going to be in the Balkans, and that is a big problem. Kind of a big problem. But if we have the next Miltec, oh, the Ottomans have the next Miltec. Never mind. Blockade when they're in Corvu during the war. Problem is, that's a fort, it's a Highlands. Plus, if they take Cephalonia then they'll be able to take that back. I guess what we could do is barrage and assault it as soon as they move on to... That'd be a really tough sell. Plus, I don't think they would give me mill access. Well, maybe if I go to war with the Ottomans, they might. That isn't a fort, it is capital. That is a fort because it's a capital. Main point is, uh, if they take this, and then they occupy this, I will have to retake this to lock them on the island. Otherwise, they could just walk back, attack me, and I would take the minus one, maybe minus two. Probably minus one, though. Wait for them to annex Epirus, though. Okay, yeah, we could do that as well. If they annex them literally same day, then yeah, I guess we could do that. Well, who are they fighting? It's not happening. It's not happening. So they're going to take Cephalonia. They're going to step on it, occupy it, then leave. They can't annex Epirus because they'll be at war with Pope Man. So that doesn't quite work. Unless I also declare war on Epirus, but they're allied to Pope Man. Hmm. Many problems. Austria will probably say yes. Because they'll recover some more manpower. Unless they do this, then maybe they won't recover manpower. Who knows? <laughs> maybe they just won't get the manpower back. Because the AI doesn't know how to manage their troops. But maybe we won't. dying inside if there are things that can go wrong in a run it's all happened today 
Actually, it could be worse. I'm sure this is what those soldiers died for. VTubers fighting the wars they did for fun. Absolutely. If I end up dying in a war, I would be grateful to know that I'd be remembered, at least in some small part, by virtual anime boys on the internet. Playing out these wars for the heck of it. Why do you have zero legitimacy? Because dude died. Uh, King died straight up. He's dead. Deaded. Very dead. Super dead. Deceased, even. I'll take that. Yep, still minus a thousand for Austria, and we're getting close to the ten favors. I love malevolent rulers. Love that. Malevolent rulers are so good. They're uh, very helpful, very nice. Really like them. They're really cool. I just think they're neat. Did you just delete your army? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, no. There they are, okay. Just had to check. Make sure I'm not crazy. Is it minimum from losing king early? 20 legitimacy? Uh, nope. Because then we got uh, the French dynasty on our throne. And that guy had zero legitimacy. And so now we have zero legitimacy. Yeah, that's why we're never going to forgive the French. We'll have to kill them. Here, let me bring my galleys over. Almost forgot about those. Alright, how's my uh, war exhaustion? It's good now. Okay, so Austria says no. Because they don't know how to manage their manpower. That's cool. Uh, how close are they to tech 4 mil though? Once they get that, I think they'll be okay. Also need to wait for this war to finish. I don't think there's anything else we can do. In the meantime, here, let me I'm gonna throw that on. Clearly, we have autonomy issues. And I might even decrease autonomy. Because for this mission, we need less than 10%, which is huge. And it might be the event. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, the Peasant Republic event should have fired already. So kind of weird that it's not firing. There we go. Genoa no longer valid. We can go with England or Morocco. I don't care about England. Morocco, maybe. Morocco seems weak enough to overcome. Or to, uh... What's the word? Eclipse. I'm gonna try for faceting in Barcelona? What do we need for that? 15 dev, I think? 
I guess we could slap that down. Is it 15 dev? Wait, let me see. Uh, hold on. Let me check. I keep forgetting how to get faceting. I know that you can't get it in Venice. I know that. I don't know why, but you're not allowed to get it in Venice. If you have embraced the institution and you have at least 50 prestige, 15 development in gems or glass, then you can get faceting. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can slap down like one mil dev in here. Although the prestige will be kind of fun. So we could try to improve the Diplo rep. It's decreased from legitimacy. Ah, that'd be super expensive to grab, though. Just for Diplo rep? I mean, isn't there... Wait. Isn't there a thing that gives me Diplo rep? Yeah, here it is. Religious diplomats, Diplo rep, and opinion of other... Or, uh, same religion. Yeah, I don't know if I like it that much, but... Could be useful. I like it better than spending the money. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, Austria would say yes. Problem is, Ottomans. A lot of mens. A lot of them, right there. Also, what is that? Global Naval Engagement Modifier. That's actually pretty solid. Engagement width is really important in uh, naval stuff. But is that worth it? 170 ducats just for that. Uh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Ottomans don't seem to be taking attrition. I mean, we can look. Yeah, no attrition. biggest problem is just having all of the Ottomans right here in the Balkans. That's like such a big problem. Unless I could somehow stack wipe them. But that's super unlikely. I mean, they have tech 4, I have tech 4. That's 37,000 Ottomans. I could try to convince them to split up. Maybe. Otherwise, we'll have to wait for Epirus to give up, which will take five years. Why is global naval engagement good? Isn't it like combat with? No. Um, not even close. So, naval engagement with is like one-sided, and it just lets you fit more ships. You can just have more ships in a battle, that's it. Like, ships are kind of weird. Like, you ever notice the ship interface? There isn't, like, a front line for ships or anything. Like, you just have ships. They just exist, right? Like, there are no formations for ships. You just have ships. So, ships, uh, if you can fit more of them in a battle, it's just good. Just, like, 100% good, like, all the time. So, that's why one of the best pips on Admirals is actually Maneuver. Because Maneuver, while it's a joke, it's like kind of a meme on Generals. It's not like bad, but it's like kind of more of a meme. It's like the one people care the least about, right? On Generals. But on Admirals, it's insane. 
it goes crazy with it because you can get like 60% more engagement with it's really good like imagine just having like 60% more ships than the other guy on the like out on the sea right it's just like it's a lot better Like, maneuver on generals. If, like, in, if a general has high maneuver but low other pips, I'll get rid of that general. But if an admiral has high maneuver and low other pips, I might keep that admiral, you know? Anyway. Uh, Ottoman War, right. This problem. Like, we would have more people, but I don't trust us to beat Anatolian tech troops on tech 4, especially when Austria's on check 3. Uh, plus they would take a while to get here, and also the Ottomans are right there, so. Limited options. I do still want this French alliance, because I want to use it against England and Castile. Uh, the Hundred Years' War didn't happen, question mark? I don't know if it has yet to happen, or if France gave up, I, I don't really know. Also, did someone say that the audio was quiet? That's life. Uh, I don't even know what to do right now. Well, England and France don't have any truce. Actually, I would love the Hundred Years' War right now. Because I think there would be a real opportunity for us to get, like, one province in England. Uh, although they have a lot of ships, I don't know. Six heavies. Yikes. Never mind. We can keep improving relations with France to a point. Actually, can I just become a peasant republic, please? I think that would be really cool. Just skip everything else. Make me a peasant republic. Overthrow the king. He's kind of mid. Plus, the air is super awful. Air sucks. King sucks. I shouldn't have disinherited that air. Although, the current king is better than that heir was, so maybe that was fine. How goes the Aragoning? Uh, horrible. <laughs> uh, pretty bad luck to start with. Not great stuff. We're kind of stuck, although... Maybe there's a way I could figure out... To declare a war against like Tunis or something? I don't know. I'm really grasping at straws here. Thing is, uh, I'm still going to need admin for tech. I'm still going to need Diplo for tech and Mill for tech. So invading people is like, eh, not the greatest idea right now. It's just like waiting for the Ottomans to finish their war with Epirus so that they'll like move on. Truce with France, that's cool and all, but, uh, we still can't be friends with them. Are they improving relations with me? Yes, okay, perfect. Good, 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 okay. France is reconciliatory. So we should be able to ally them, uh, as soon as we reach, like, minus 30 or something? I don't remember. Oh no, the advisor. Half-cost uh, artist guy, that sucks. 
Okay, what's more important? 10% tax or reduced inflation? 10% tax would give us 0.6 ducats. It's uh, nothing really that impressive. But he would mostly pay for himself in that case. The uh, interest, the inflation would be okay, I guess. Now we'll just take the money so we can pay off the loans. Yeah, that's fine. We'll save money to pay off loans instead. What are we getting? The Fazan Corridors? Uh, no. God, no, please. Absolutely not. Burgundy and France declared war on Provence. GG. Sucks to be those guys. Plus ratio. Okay, now we can be friends with France. Yeah, I need to use them against Castile at some point. This dude, England and Portugal. <sighs> yeah, that's great. That's really cool. Bottom option. Okay, we could invade somebody else in the meantime. We have manpower. We have, uh, arguably not a lot of admin, but it exists. Also take that, I guess. We can invade Tunis just for money, actually. That's a good idea. Uh, we don't want to do that yet, though. We'll just get a claim. going for radical reforms well for radical reforms uh what do we need for that i forget hold on is it really the inflation guy it is the inflation guy okay we can go for radical reforms i guess fine Still no Peasant Republic, by the way. Mean time to happen to five years, by the way. Yep. Yep. You got the event in 1555? No, that's gotta be a typo. You mean 1455, right? That's, uh, that's a typo. Right? Main time to happen of 60 months. That's a typo, right? Oh, okay. Good, good. Oh my god. You need negative ones to build... Is Aragon owns Catalonia sixty months? No. Always enabled down with the nobles become a peasant republic. If you have at least zero stability, you lose three stability. It says always enabled to have that option. Am I going to have to check game files? Is the wiki lying to me? Am I going to really have to check game files today? Or 
before they patched it. I have to check game files. Love checking game files. All right, let's do it. Missions. Where are my Aragon missions? Not Aragonese missions, sorry, I want events. Why is there no Aragon events text file? Is it Flavor ARA? Yes, there it is, okay. Flavor events for Aragon. Let's find it. Syndicate Remensa. Fire only once, main time to happen, 60 months. Option. If you have domination, that's the top one. Option two, autonomy. Option three. Always available. Yeah, if you have at least zero stability, then you lose three. Otherwise, you lose points. I think what you're referring to is that you want to be negative one stability. Because instead of losing three stability, you then only lose 150 points, which is less than three stability. That's probably what you're referring to. Optional, but preferred. The longer the stakes to fire, the more chances for Iberian Wedding. True, but that has a uh, mean time to happen of a hundred years, unless Castile has a Regency, or we have uh, opposite... Wait, no, I think Castile has to be in a Regency, yeah. Oh my god, bro, that's crazy. What do you know? <laughs> who who would have guessed? Oh wow, that's that's funky. <laughs> okay, so there's there's the bottom one. Peasant Republic time. That's a lot of noble regiments. They didn't mention the uh the noble peasants. Uh that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, wow, that's something I didn't think I would have to deal with, but I guess it makes sense. Time to bring everyone back home. <laughs> yeah, lose three stability, gain one. Uh, based, I guess? Just gonna move that out of the way. We're not going to touch that until we have everyone back home. I'll count the uh, month ticks. So where are they going to rise up? Girona, Tarragona, Castello. Girona, uh, Tarragona, Castello. Okay. Cool, we're going to send you here then. I'll count the uh, number of months. Don't worry, chat. Put that up as well. One month has passed. Two months have passed. I think we get up to six months. But, uh, let's actually just let it fire. Let's wait for this guy to move and then we'll let it fire. Yep. There we go, that's better. And we do keep Naples based. Unless they disappear after a month. Oh god. Uh oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like grab the top option. I now always take the bottom option. 
I used to take the top one. Top option seemed so much more reasonable. And then one day I was like, well, what happens if you take the bottom one? Turns out you just don't pay the admin. Like it might spread, but if it does, you still don't pay the admin. It'll just affect a couple of provinces for a while. It's like, it does not matter that much. It's like this modifier spreads to like four more provinces. And that's it. That's like the only difference. Also, we're going to keep this guy. I don't even know why I have the option, but uh, obviously, yes. Too many relations. Oh, right. Whenever you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we killed the nobility. Whoopsies. <laughs> Forgot about that slight caveat. Um... No strong duchies if there's no such thing as a duchy. Uh, feudalism is now dead. Oops. We've killed it. It's gone. Right, well, uh, Peasants Republic. Love that. That's really cool. I think they should give Peasant Republics more flavor, actually. But, uh, hey, we, we work with that. That's cool. Consulate of the Sea. Oh. In place trade posts based frequent elections super based i love playing republic so much how will this affect your world conquest yeah the second spain world conquest i could never I could never do a second one. Here, let me boost that, actually. Lack of Republican tradition. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a problem. Well, I should have pressed this before and I didn't because I'm dumb, but that's life. Uh-oh. Uh, right, they do tend to uh, help each other out a little. We're not going to survive this. Especially not with uh, them having a decent general. But that's okay. We can wait. We have enough manpower. Alright. We have the Giga Chad Grand Consul. Eric Garmendia, protector of the little folk. Okay, that's pretty solid. I like that. How does this affect Europe's opinion of me? Look at siege ability. I don't think Europe cares, which is weird and actually makes no sense. Europe is supposed to care a lot. Also, is the autonomy still high? Okay, so the, the peasants rise up and retake the government. Not retake, they just overthrow the government, establish a republic, and the autonomy... Wait. If we had killed the peasants, the autonomy would go down. But if the peasants take over, the autonomy doesn't go down. Oh, who did you go to? Yeah, Austria, that makes sense. Good thing we're allies. That could be useful, actually. Hmm. Yeah, Europe does not seem to care that we're a republic and neither does our personal union. They do not care. I don't know why. 
Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we'll get our claim on Tunis just to mess with them. We'll improve relations with Naples because the last thing we want is them disappearing on us. We still have plenty of time. Half cost level 2 trader. Uh, I guess so. Ottomans still at war. Cool. Very neat. Andorra is technically under a personal union with France today, being a republic. I thought Andorra was under joint juris jurisdiction of uh, Spain and France. It is. So it's both. France broke their alliance. How cringe could you possibly be? Like, genuinely. Do you realize how cringe you are? Do you have any idea? Why are you like this? There we go. Radical reforms. Holy based. Uh, I don't really care about either of these guys, actually. Okay, we'll give it one more month and then we'll secure this revolution. Sounds good to me. Uh, generation of cowards. We just fought a revolution. What do you mean? We just had like an actual full revolution. Ten years of discipline. Bruh. Uh, the manpower is not that strong and we do need to fight the Ottomans. So... Discipline it is. Are you joking? Takes discipline, loses. <laughs> uh, they do have that three shock, that's reasonable. Wait, they have zero morale. We have one morale. 0 0.01 morale. Do we win, chat? Is that it? Do we win? <laughs> Who knows? We do. Okay, let's sell some titles. Take some land back. Ah, uh, we really don't have that much money. I would use it to repay loans, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, we need to send ships over just to scout out the Ottomans. I might even slacken. 
I might even increase enlistment in slacking. We're going to wait for the Ottomans to move back across. We should still have more ships. And we can call in Austria to help us. Oh, did you just get the... Oh my god, dude. Yes, we need Austria to help right now. That's perfect. Hold on, actually. You're going to come with us. Ottomans are going to attack the Mamluks. It doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better than this, chat. It's so over for the Ottomans. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fight the Mamluks. Please do. Oh, God. Please fight the Mamluks. Yeah, baby. That's the good stuff. Oh, it's all coming together. That's great. This is really good. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. It would only be better if I were the Pope as well. God, can you imagine? If the stars aligned on that, if we became Pope as well. This is literally the most manpower we can get from slackening, so we're going to take it. Oh my god, and they're spreading institutions as well? It's so over for the Ottomans. It's so autumn over. Yep, I'll take that Republican tradition, thank you. Okay, wait. Where's the Ottoman army, actually? I'm pretty sure it's over here. We don't really know. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go for Galibaloo. Because we're gonna take that, like, immediately. All in Austria. If they're in the Balkans at all, it is over for us. However, if they're not... <laughs> Come on, we just need enough men to assault this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, boys. I believe in you. I believe in you. We got this, lads. We got this, gentlemen. We can do this. Oh, let's go. It's over for them. We've won. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. I can bring a tear to my eye. I let the mill access chain around the Black Sea begin. You see, the thing is, we still outnumber them. The problem is Tlemcen, they might actually be a pain in my butt. Otherwise, uh, we're kind of chilling, kind of vibing, you could say. And we get Crusade, holy based. Literally, holy and abased. A 
Although Naples isn't going to do anything. So uh, thanks, Naples. That's cool. All right, first reform. We will eventually pick up Consulate of the Sea. But to do that, we have to, like, actually pick up Consulate of the Sea. Where is that? How do I even get that? Oh, here it is. Uh, what do I need? 70% trade power in Valencia. 15% in the Ligurian Sea. Oh, yeah, that's not happening for a while. Uh, plus I have to pick something anyway. Okay. Manpower. Goods produced. Burger loyalty. Republican tradition. That's good. I do like Republican tradition. Good combo between frequent elections and republicanism. We'll take that. We need to re-elect. Always. As much as possible. It's three heavies. When did you have the time to build three heavy ships? Ayo? Okay, in that case, I might actually take the global naval engagement with... Ottoman Navy kind of scares me. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, we need to hold. Oh, they actually kind of scare me. Uh-oh. They have an actual navy. Three heavies. And Ramazan has galleys. Uh-oh. Uh... I mean, two and seven pips. Did I do something stupid? Yes. Yes, I did. I did do something stupid. Uh, we don't want the transports in here. They're literally useless. Uh, uh oh. This just means we have to siege faster. Okay, here's the deal. If they walk on to this province or this province, they're still stuck there, I think. One might even say it's more advantageous to allow them to cross. That was such a nerdy way to phrase that. Okay, we let them cross, we kill them. Capiche? Does that make sense? Let's say they cross into here. They're stuck here, right? They can't move. Or they cross into here, doesn't matter. Uh, we fight them. They retreat. We put one ship out. They can no longer retreat. We stack wipe. Does that make sense? Yeah? So we'll see how this pans out. Their maneuver gives them 20... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess whatever then, because their... <laughs> their leader maneuver just kind of like fixes that for them anyway. We'll see how this plays out. I don't have high hopes for it. Okay, they've lost one galley. Good rule. 
I've lost two galleys, I think. No, one galley disengaged. Galleys is disengaged, we've disengaged one. Oh, oh dude, we just lost like three galleys in one... One minute, actually. Okay, we have to leave. Never mind. Oh, uh, that just means we have to be quick. So we're gonna send everybody... Here. We're going to assault that as well. There are only like 900 people in there. Okay, that's expensive. But we should get it quickly. Yeah, we'll just wait then. Actually, I don't think we have to assault that. Since Austria doesn't seem to want, like, anything here, we'll just let them siege. We'll plunder. We'll loot. Love looting. I love money. I love stealing money from people. We're not stealing enough money. We need to steal more money. Uh, when we're done slackening, I'll turn off the edicts. They're not going to cross, right, Austria? Oh my god, they're so stupid. Let Byzantium pay for the fort? That's true. That's real. Thank you. Forgot about that. Uh, Neapolitan Pretender Rebels. That's not my problem. You know what I could do? Okay, no, that's not worth it. <laughs> hmm. Money's uh, kind of a problem for us. Mainly state maintenance. Oh, right. Why are my forts up? I don't need that fort up. Might even delete that fort, actually. What's this for? I might keep this one up because, I mean, we are fighting Tlemcen. They're also fighting, like, Tunis. Okay, never mind. They're not going to fight us then. They're too busy. those pretenders manage to enforce you lose the PU yep but uh, I think we'll be fine like Naples is too cringe to help us in this war so they're just gonna hang back and fight their own rebels that's why I said it's not my problem speaking of cringe hey there hungry uh, how's it going oh that could be useful we're gonna fight that leave these guys behind we're here to help Mamlux, let us in. We'll kill him for you. Or at least, like, maybe die a little bit less. If we're being perfectly honest. They have no galleys, which is a good start. Yes, kill them. Destroy them. I don't want to see a single piece of floating Ottoman wood. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I think we lost one galley, but that's worth it. Yeah, we're already Kami. Alright, Ottomans... Uh, the actual manpower hasn't changed that much. Which means they're hiding somewhere. I don't know where. I 
think the best thing to do would be reinforce this siege. Not actually walk onto it. Uh-oh, Austria saw something. Iovianus Eov Pontanus. Right, uh, stability or prestige? Wow, what a tough decision. You know, that's, that's really hard to... I don't know, man. A that's a tough one. 10 prestige or a whole stability? Oof, yeah, I, I don't know. Hard to really figure that one out. Okay, the Ottomans... Oh my god, dude, <laughs> what the hell is that? Ottomans do have mill access, but in the worst way possible. And prestige for the AE reduction, you're right, I should have grabbed that. Can't believe I didn't see that. Okay, so since Austria is being weird, we're gonna sit in Sarahan. Those guys have an achievement, don't they? I still haven't done it. Alright, well, uh, you have fun there, Hungary. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh, I never trust the AI. Why, why did I Why did I trust the AI? Also, um... Okay. Alright, then. <laughs> the knights went with the, uh... To lose the game speed run. Any percent lose the game. They only have 17 ships now. These guys are repaired. We'll send them into here since Byzantium's doing the blockading. This will speed up both sieges. this take exactly two more years two more years okay now from the ottomans obviously we just want to return all of the byzantine cores including that one we'll take that and yeah, that'll go to byzantium and I think we want money and war reps actually because we're kind of down bad on money down horrendous on money although I know they're gonna be like 16 people in chat saying Bulgaria ah there it is I I knew it I knew it chat was gonna be like Bulgaria though Bulgaria hmm? Bulgaria uh, I know, I know, I know. But Bulgaria, though? Bulgaria when? Bulgaria subject? We could grab that prob that bleh, province if you guys really want it. And then Kocheli. Here. Are you guys happy with this? Is that good? Yes? Good. Because that's what it's gonna be. All right, who are you going to fight? I'm ready to square up. I'll do it. I'll fight you. 
How are they advancing against the Mamluks when they're getting their butt kicked from both angles? Just go bankrupt already. Uh, that's okay. Holy, is that the man himself? Mr. Riz? What an honor. Mr. Martino Rizzo himself? The inventor of Riz? I just thought of a really funny joke, but I'm not going to say it because it would kill me inside to say it. Oh shoot, hold on. It can't be that bad. No, it's so... Okay, it isn't actually that bad. But I'd probably die if I said it. Hold on. Oh, what's your tech? Three. Oh, it's over. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Ooh. Um. Ah, uh, we're gonna fight it anyway. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Let me just fight unwinnable battles. To my war, I get to decide the battles. Yeah, loans, love loans. Loans are great. Uh, just never repay them. I'll say the joke later when it's more relevant. Is that worth it? That's not even worth it. Is it? Well, hold on a second. It might be. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I might be able to convince the Ottomans to... Oh, oh god, no, wait. Uh-oh. Oh no, bro. Okay, we're solid. We're good. I love how the Ottomans started a war against the Mamluks. So, uh, now they're trying to fight me. Okay, to be fair, we are the existential threat. <laughs> it's kind of fair. Uh, we get there on the 26th. That sucks. Wow. I'd really prefer if we didn't have to deal with that. Uh, what if I fight you here? Hmm? What about that? We get there on the 29th. They get there on the 25th. Uh, that would be a bad battle to take, wouldn't it? Damn, bro. Maybe like one mil? Like, uh, just like one general, maybe? We have terrible generals. We can get at most 10 pips, a minimum of three. Well, that's... I mean, it literally can't get any worse, right? It can't get any worse. Right? Surely. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Two maneuver, one siege. I would take that, that's fine. I'd put it on this guy. Two shock. I can accept that. Okay, this guy fights this battle. Byzantium and Hungary help. I go fight. Oh god, this is really 
interesting. It's uh, certainly one of the battles of all time. Yep, certainly a battle. Not a very good one for us. We have a main siege roll, though. Or a siege. A main shock roll. Come on. Austria, help me. Austria, please. Austria, I'm dying. Siege finished, you're right, thank you. Austria, please help me. I am dying. Why do you hate me, Austria? Oh! <gasps> Never mind, we're so back. Let's go. We are back, Aragon bros. Uh, I lost so many galleys. It's for the sake of destroying the Ottomans. It's worth it. It's valid. Do not follow me. Leave. Leave. Get out of here. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, I'll just keep improving relations with people who might ally me. Like France for the third time this run. That's uh, still a lot of men's right there. Hold on. Let's reinforce the Ankara siege. Not literally, just stand next to it. Oh, well, uh, that was... That was kind of pointless. Never mind. And I don't even have enough people. Hold on. We'll send... the cavalry and some guys back to, like, here... Loot stuff, I guess? Yeah, just go loot stuff. Have fun. I'm gonna send in everything, actually. Renaissance! Big dub. Of course that would spawn first in Italy, that makes sense. We'll get it in other places, though. Like, uh, capital, pretty soon. You're still invaded by the... Yeah, okay. These guys are still beefing, so I can keep those down. We're gonna keep them, obviously. Okay, slackening is done. Let's get rid of all those edicts. Manpower's fake, don't worry about it. It's all simulation, it's not real. <laughs> Wait, why are we a republic? Uh, don't worry about it. Normal Aragon gameplay. He's from Gazakamuk. What is it? War reps, money. I'll check myself. We 
could use prestige to get faceting. Also, your money kind of sucks. Alright, whatever. Oh, also, can't I do... that? There we go. Okay, now we're gonna battle with the Mamluks over which territory we get to take. Not literally battle, but, you know. We gotta stake our claim. On as much war score as possible. Transfer the forts? Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Uh, ooh. I actually kind of do want the prestige for faceting. How much am I going to get out of this? 24. Which is going to be divided. So I'm actually getting 12. Now is that enough? No, it's not. That would get us to 40, roughly. So we can't get enough prestige. Unless I somehow get enough out of Flemson? Oh, god. You're, okay, you're fighting a death war with Tunis, and you decided to leave your death war just to fight me. Okay, whatever, man. I love how the AI prioritizes things. I love priorities. I love how the AI decides to prioritize things. It's, uh, it's good. It's good. They decided to leave. They sent everybody from their death war with Tunis. To come siege a province. This is going to kill them. This decision has killed them. And of course they'll make that decision. Because why not? Screw the players a priority. True and real. They are going to die because they've decided to do this. And they're perfectly okay with that. Alright. Sure. Cool. That's really cool. Okay, whatever, I'm taking the Pope points. I also want the clergy to like me. Okay, whatever, it's gonna be mainly inconsequential. Man, so annoying. Uh, I could end it now for, like, a couple fewer ducats. Because there's nobody here that will automatically take the siege. We take the Algiers coast if Tlemcen's acting unwise. We will have to do that eventually. How many days left? Five. How many days left? Four. Hmm. Based. <laughs> Never mind. We have a battle going on now. What happened? What changed? I don't know what changed. Okay. Kinda weird. But alright.
All right, then. All right, how did that siege affect LeBron's legacy? It doesn't seem to have done very much, to be honest. You have to wait, like, a couple more months. Lemson is going to die. I I don't. Why did they do this? Any Telemson players? Let me know. Is that the uh, meta strat? Abandon your country in the middle of a death war with Tunis? Is that the strat? I said it's my third with the brain cell. No, it's mine. You can't have it. You have the brain cell after tomorrow's stream. Okay, are we done? Please? Please? Wait, what are, are you broke now? What happened? Why do I get less money? What? No, wait, we get we get more money. Wait. What? But it's less war score. Oh, because of this. That's that's what happened. Okay, okay, okay. I see. That's what happened. Okay. Minus two. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait like three seconds. We'll be fine. How do they still have three heavies? Despite everything. I don't even know, man. Alright, it's autumn over. Overmans. <laughs> uh, easy. We'll take that because everybody likes the Bulgaria vassal. We're going to give Byzantium all the cores back, plus Cephalonia. I'm taking the straight crossing plus money. All right, any complaints? Other than the fact that we're going to lose a lot of money from not taking the war reps? I think the Ottomans are going to lose too much money for the war reps to be worth it. I mean, first of all, we're killing them in the Balkans, and then the Mamluks are going to kill them in Anatolia, so. I mean, their economy right now is two ducats. Uh, I'm going, going to guess, just on a gist, you know, a hunch maybe, that their economy is going to look like, mm, I don't know, 15 ducats? Maybe something like that. How healthy are the Mamluks? They're doing great. 33,000 men. They're definitely going to destroy the Ottomans. So, uh, war reps, not worth it. Reconquer all this land. Money. Looking good. Ah, that's tasty. That's really nice. Look at that. That's enough money to embrace the Renaissance, actually, which I might. Because we have enough points to take stuff. Renaissance could spread. Or I could take the tech right now. I do feel like taking the tech right now. Right, Bulgaria. You guys want Bulgaria. Any Bulgaria enjoyers? There you go. There's your Bulgaria. Uh, we still don't have strong duchies, by the way, so that's kind of a problem. Anyway, yeah, I'll embrace that. That's fine.
first idea group. All right, chat, let's uh, take meta ideas. Uh, Naval Maritime, let's go. Plutocratic's actually pretty based. Unironically plutocratic. Goods produced? Manpower? What are the policies like? Economic gives you Republican tradition. Ooh. The light shift cost? Let's go. Economic Plutocratic is actually a really good set. Republican Tradition? Ooh, that's spicy. So because I could really do whatever I wanted in this run, like I tend to do in half my runs, uh, what's going to be the weird quirky thing we do this run? We're just going to do like full Plutocracy Aragon maybe? Except not literal Plutocracy, we're still a Peasants Republic. So, you know, economic, plutocratic, trade, for the hell of it. Yeah, we need to get our five-year plans going already. Uh, yeah, since we're not really going Spain, well, maybe at some point. We need to basically take the entire Mediterranean, right? That's like, the point? The entire Mediterranean, like, literally the whole coastline? The entire all coastline. Well, technically not the whole thing, but practically the whole thing. Only a spoonful of coastline takes out comically large spoon. Uh, let's see. Well, Plutocratic's nice. I might even actually, unironically, take Plutocratic Economic just for the meme. If we wanted to not be a meme about it, then we would take Offensive Diplomatic Admin. Obviously. Or, um... Well, we could take... Offensive Diplomatic Religious and then Admin, or something like that. That would be like, you know, the actual meta. But meta's boring and cringe, so we're gonna take Plutocratic. Uh, I'm gonna take Longbow. Espionage, Plutocratic, and Court. Let's go. Let me have fun with it, alright? Sure, we could go ugh, meta or something like that, but yeah, no, 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 that, that's okay. That's okay. We don't need meta. Meta is cringe. We will build the strongest economy in the Mediterranean. 
What's really funny is that owning the entire Mediterranean actually doesn't make you that much money. Like, sure, like, yeah, sure, you get money, right? But it's not as much money as you would make by not owning Mediterranean doing other things. Anyway, uh, I guess we will rival the Mamlocks. You know, if Byzantium gets a claim on Cyprus, and then, you know, we could take that. Grab Syria, get Jerusalem. Suboptimal gameplay, not my VTuber. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just don't like to play meta, and it seems like that's increasingly, like, all the time. <laughs> Actually, go with Venice. We're gonna take this stuff. Give it to Byzantium, maybe. Are you really allied to Venice? Oh, I hate you. Yeah, Ibadi, full trade Aragon. Peasant Republic. You know what? I should swap religion. Why not? Why not just go Sunni Aragon? There's no restriction. I mean, unless I feel like forming Spain and becoming the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, that is an achievement that exists. <laughs> Word said by the utterly deranged. What? Half cost tax guy. Absolutely, I'll take him. Years of playing meta and its consequences have destroyed my willpower to play meta. I might have to unally the Pope man. Unfortunately. I'm sorry, Pope. It's not you, it's me. I just I have too many relations and I want to ally France. Of course we have to fix this again because they keep they keep breaking the alliance. They keep doing it. Constantly, all the time, they keep breaking it. Alright, what are we doing next? I have no manpower, but... Okay, I don't have money either. I have nothing. I need to decrease the autonomy in these provinces. Okay, you know what? You guys have had your fun, but, uh... That's enough of that. I'm decreasing the autonomy. Need a thousand ducats, less than one loan, and five temples. That would give us. Eh, that's not bad, I guess, suppose. Inflation reduction. Yeah, maybe we can build the economy now or something. I don't know. Decreasing autonomy in Catalonia, that never goes well. Nah, it's okay. I mean. We have direct rule from Catalonia anyway. I mean, uh, indirect decentralized peasant republic rule, of course. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I meant. Hey, are you improving relations with me? No. Could you please? Don't you want to be friends? Please? Exploit tax, is it worth it anywhere? Hmm. Well, Barcelona, we want to develop, uh, faceting, unless somebody else got faceting. What about you, Byzantium? Negative 10 prestige, they are not getting faceting.
Who else can even get faceting? I think... Can't Ming get faceting? Or maybe I'm thinking of a mod. Never mind. Bohemia, that's that's what it is, you're right. Bohemia can get faceting in uh what's the one? There we go. If they dev this, then they can get faceting. But I mean Really, I mean even Loren could get faceting. Actually, no, they can't, because you can't have coal as late and good. Liege could get faceting. Liege is actually Surprisingly close to getting faceting. Um, not you. Not you. Sienna? Not you. Oh, what's this? Uh, 107 ducats. Or... Some prestige, I guess? We don't need missionary strength. Okay, that's fine. You know what I could do, though? In Byzantium, you know how uh, the Catholics saved you from... ...dying to uh, the Ottomans? You know how that happened? Well, you know. I think it'd be really cool if, just like, as an example, you wanted to maybe, you know, convert. That'd be cool, thanks. In which case, maybe I should have taken the missionary strength, but, uh, oh well. I can take the Force Unity of Faith, which works. I'll just accept Orthodox. Wait, is that true? Is that real chat? Please say no. Ah, uh, they're converting. Oh yeah, and they're converting quickly too. They get religious zeal. Orthodox autonomy time, please no. Not even as a joke. How dare you say such a thing? I'm getting flashbacks to the Norse one faith attempt. I have a feeling it's because Byzantium has tolerance of the true faith, and in their ideas they get missionary strength. They're probably coded to be very religious. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck this game. Uh, okay, that's cool. Well, hey, that's life. <laughs> we can integrate them faster. Actually, should I integrate them right now? Is there even a reason to not integrate them? Well, they do donate troops, I suppose. Oh, we could get states out of them, so that's good. Man, I just, I hate this Castile so much. I'm not just preying on Castile's downfall, I want them dead. It's not enough to surpass them. It's not enough to beat them in a war. I want them gone.
We could still get the Iberian wedding. No, because we're not a, a monarchy anymore. You'd be surprised. What do you mean you'd be surprised? It was a recent change that they, you know, in 1.35, uh, the regular, like 1.35.0, you could get it. But now they have changed it since then. The current patch makes it illegal, apparently. All right, they just forced a uh, subject to be released or like just a country release. That's so boring. Actually, no, they took some cores back. One core for Karaman. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's such a boring tea steal. Ottoman Seed Aintab and Teke. Aintab Teke. Okay. Ottomans give Kirshahir to Karaman and they release Jermian. And they pay money. Wow. Okay. That was kind of a whole nothing burger, but uh, that's cool. Thank you, Mamlux. Actually, can I sell the Renaissance to somebody? Do you have the Renaissance? You do have the Renaissance. Do you have the Renaissance? You do. You hate me. I'm not even going to ask. Um, how about... Let me, let me ask Byzantium. Uh, they're broke. Cool. Well, this would make uh, me pay them, and I don't want to pay them. The other option would make them pay me, but they're broke. I could fight Tunis. They're still in a death war with Clemson. That's really funny. <laughs> okay. Well, see, the thing is, I have a lot of admin. Not a lot of aggressive expansion. I have things I could invade. Which means I would like to invade people. Now, my, uh, the mission tree? Not super helpful in that regard. The mission tree is like basically invade people to get claims. Or do other things to get claims. The first claims are against Castile, then we get the Union CB over Portugal. And we finish this. Like if I if I do this, then I get claims. But I can't do this. Because I need money. But I have extra admin. So in that case. I'm gonna decrease a little bit of inflation. Uh I think uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, even though I don't have claims, I think I'm just going to invade Tunis. Just invade them. Why not? I mean, their money goes directly into Valencia, so I'm just going to invade them. It was a mistake to swap to this, but I didn't know how good this guy would be. Yeah, I need to swap over to military as soon as possible. Especially since I don't get the point privilege. But anyway... All right, I have limited manpower and money, but that's not going to stop me. We're heading over to Tunis. Ottoman's no longer valid rival. Real and true and based. Uh, England is cringe. Muscovy I don't care about. Poland don't care about. France I want to be friends with. Mamlux it is then. All 
All right, any complaints, Tunis? I don't think so. Just finished a math exam and I got like a 90, which is cool. That's pretty sick. You have to conquer Paris for the achievement? Yeah, we'll get around to that eventually. It'll happen at some point, probably. Maybe. reform the Roman Republic uh, in the weirdest way possible, maybe. Always been kind of funny to me that you can just reinforce pretty much anywhere in the world. Like, someone can blockade all of your ports, but but you're just like, hey, uh, hold on, bro, we gotta, like, let some people in to reinforce our army, and they're like, oh, no problem, my bad, and they just, like, let you through the blockade. Okay, I want this, this, and that, and money. I've caused Diplorep guy? Mmm, sure, because this guy will eventually die. The fuck conquistadors can respawn men in the Amazonas, yep. See, people are actually made from thin air. All right, Naples, you have money. Here you go, thank you. Kind of weird that I'm <laughs> giving the Renaissance to the Italians, but... Hey, whatever works. Money's money. Uh, I would actually prefer if you didn't step on that. Thank you. In fact, I'm going to send people over there. That's going to be a nasty kind of stack wipe. Oof. Hey, uh, Tlemcen, do you want to get off the fort, please? Tlemcen, this is not your siege. You're not that guy. Get off the fort. I hate the AI sometimes. I hate it. I hate it. Don't put more people on the fort. This isn't your fort. This isn't your siege. You are not that guy. You are not winning, please. You just keep putting more people on the siege. I don't even get to have triple e either. Oh, there we go. Okay, they finished the war finally. Okay, we're chilling. Did Tlemcen get anything? Nah, they probably just wanted a white piece. Yeah, we can't even check. But they probably just wanted a white piece.
Maybe a little bit more than a white piece. Perish. Thank you. Alright, things are looking good, looking solid. We have enough naval supremacy for even Byzantium to land. Zen is gone. It's Fazover. They have one province left. Alright, I'm taking that. Uh, I'm taking that. Taking that. You know what? I mean, it is practically free to just, uh, you know, out of curiosity, if someone were to, I don't know, take something like this. Or like, um, I don't know, just like take the whole coastline. I'm sure that would be okay. I'm a little bit tired of them raiding my coasts. It gives me a direct passage into Alexandria that I can use to kill the Mamluks. Thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get those anyway. <laughs> so, I need to have a larger naval force limit, which I just don't have. My naval force limit is... 27. So if I did that, then I would get permaclaims on the coast and stuff. It's just, it's so weird that the game's like, yeah, for you to have Mediterranean ambitions, you're gonna actually have to wait 50 years. Like, why? It's just weird. And then, you know, once we grab claims on, uh, on Greece, and then we have pretty much all of Greece already, and then we get claims in Albania, and then, well, we already have Constantinople. Then we get claims on... Wait, what? I don't even get claims in Egypt. No, I do get claims on Egypt. Claim on Delta and Syra. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Anyway, uh, we do eventually need to take all of this stuff, which we're taking right now. Well, not all of it, but this is part of the claims, but like, not really. <laughs> I don't know. The game wants you to wait 50 years before you invade Tunis. It's so weird. But like, nah, I'm just going to invade Tunis. It's super easy to just ignore the mission tree and just take stuff. Once I do this, uh, Tunis will be too broke to keep this fort, so they'll just get rid of it. Yeah, so this gives us the claims on this stuff. But you have to wait 50 years first, because you have to integrate Naples, which takes 50 years. And then you have to integrate them, which takes another, I don't know, 15, 20 years. The way the mission tree is made is like, man, when I finally conquer everything, I'll finally be able to get those mission rewards. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's like, wow, uh, I could sit here and do nothing for 50 years, or I could, like, play the video game. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna play the video game. I think that's a, a better idea. I think I want to do that. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab that. That's cool. Big Aragon. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna turn these into centers of trade. Or, uh, you know. I don't care that much about doing all that stuff. The uh, conversion. Because now I get a new merchant. I can send that merchant into here for more. Well, I think it's actually worth it. Hold on. Might be better. Also, if I wanted to, we could swap Muslim now, chat. Okay, this makes a couple of upset people. But they don't care enough to do anything. Alright, we're sending an extra ducat here. Okay, I mean, it's worth a little bit of money, it's not much. You want land, and otherwise... Okay, here's an idea. We're gonna sell titles. We're gonna take land back. And then I guess you can have a little bit of land as a treat, okay? Just a little bit. Not too much, we don't want to spoil them. Yeah, Valencia is a pretty bad note, I won't lie. Because, uh, I mean, you'd have to take Sevilla, and even then, a lot of your trade power is stolen by Genoa. Okay, we got rebels in Cochele. Where's that? Cochele. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're already a republic. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Well, we're not doing that much converting. Just converting sad into more sad. Uh, so I guess we'll just take the tech cost decrease. Although I really should be converting things, but... Yeah, I don't know. Tech cost decrease. How long is that? 10 years? I can live for 10 years without converting stuff. Ottomans are so weak I might even get rid of this fort. Don't need that. Also don't need that, that, or that up. I'll wait for Devastation. You have a 666 though? Okay, but you could always be more efficient. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's actually worth it. I need to eventually get enough favors with France to invade Castile. The extra points we can always dev, true and real. Also need more galleys. Eh, let's build a few. Will that be 
It would be. But I'll just go ahead and get maybe one heavy. And another cog. Will the French break the alliance? Or watch the French break the alliance again? Yeah, for a third time. God, please. Please stop breaking the alliance. Orthodox zealots in uh, Byzantium. Yeah, see, this is what happens if you decide to put on the autonomy. You fool. You imbecile. You clown. This is why you don't grant the Orthodox autonomy. Ah, man. Starting to fall in love with the concept of VTuber strategists. It's like uh, playing strategy games like regular, except slightly more cringe. A novel idea. Merc ideas? No. Slightly? Yep. Just a little bit. By a margin. At least it isn't Hoi 4. At least it isn't Hoi 4 for now. Four more years will be free. Free of our admin focus. Oh, YouTube app stopped. That's cool. Let me open that back up so I can read chat. Uh, here we go. You're also going for Rome? Uh, unintentionally, but it might happen anyway. Okay, we'll get rid of that now. Positive income, Pog. Orthodox zealots, man. Maybe I shouldn't have forced Byzantium to swap religions. Uh, yeah, I don't know. More cringe is usually good, right? True. I live on cringe. I thrive on cringe. I live in the cringe. Kill not the part of you, which is cringe. Kill the part that cringes. That was like Socrates or something.
All right, what's that one copy pasta? Let me find it. I'm thinking of a really specific one. Let me see. Um... Here we go. I am the cringe of my sword. Cringe is my body and cringe is my blood. I have created over a thousand VTuber videos. Unknown to death nor known to life have winced and pain to create much cringe. Yet those hands will never hold anything so as I pray. Unlimited cringe works. Let's go. Take your pick, chat. What's gonna fire first? The Orthodox Zealots or the Tunisians? Next target? Oh, staying alive. That's the next goal. Today, campers, our objective is to find a way to keep going. Actually, I don't want that. Uh-oh, bro. You better not do what I think you're gonna do. You better not. Maybe a humiliation war? Bro, I got like no manpower and no money. <laughs> I've been sitting on the same loans that I've had for like 20 years. Oh, the right answer was both at the same time. That's great. I love that. Okay, when does this end? We got time. Uh, Byzantium likes me, Bulgaria likes me, Naples more or less likes me. I'm sure Naples is having a great time with the 666 leader. A mission! A mission fulfilled, chat. Finally. Uh, we got perma claims on the Barbary Coast and Algiers. Which is here and here. What do you know? 15 years of naval attrition. I don't care about that stuff, like, at all. Uh, shipyard in Barcelona. Base production in Barcelona. Perma claims. It doesn't even unlock the full tree. I still have to integrate Naples. It's great. I love that. But I'll take it anyway. Okay, problem is, I still have too many points. Suffering from success, I have to invade more people. This Venice, Castile, England triple alliance is killing me. All right, there's this. Well, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait like a month that, obviously. We get, uh... Well, if we take the Diplo now, okay, we wait one month and then we take both of them, alright? Uh, 
All right, so that's innovativeness. This is innovativeness. And then maybe even the bottom one will be innovativeness. Who knows? Uh, we will definitely take that. Invade Portugal. Uh, break British alliance with Venice. Slight problem with that. Portugal, Castile, England, Triple Alliance, and then England, Castile, Venice, Triple Alliance. Plus, we can't actually get a claim on them. It could maybe justify, like, a trade conflict. At best. Yeah, it's an awful hug box. A sinister hug box. Outrageous hug box. How did you take that, bro? What? Man. It sucks to be Byzantium these days. <laughs> At least they've, uh, you know, kind of recovered a little bit. There we go. That's more innovativeness. But I think we could wait to take that. Because it's more efficient. There we go, an extra form. Love frequent elections, let's go. My favorite reform of all time. Xantium finally gets their historical borders in 1.36. Yeah, I saw that on the Steam page. It's kind of a weird choice, to be honest. A friend England? They despise me. I'm allied to France. You think England's gonna like me? Not a chance. Yeah, I'm still not getting rid of those loans. Ah, uh, remember that one time I was like, yeah, no, don't worry, I'll, I'll get rid of the loans eventually. It'll definitely happen. Trust me, bro. I'm not getting rid of the loans. We don't actually have to pay the loans back. You know what I need? I need more claims on the Ottomans. Or, I could just give Byzantium their claims. They have claims on the Ottomans. Ally all the other peasant republics? So like what? If Martian? That's it? Well, actually, nope, East Frisia is now a Stadtholder monarchy. I don't actually know what that is. Cool. Allows VOC India men ships. Pardon? What is even that? Wait, how did they get that? They have Dutch stuff?
Not even the Dutch themselves have taken that. But East Frisia. Okay. That's cool. And it's an election. They have the Dutch monarchy. A oh, weird... Wait, okay, whatever. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll just, uh, yep, that's normal. Anything you can do in the Great Peasants War? I don't even know. Maybe I can get like a CV to turn countries into peasant republics? That would be super based. Spread the revolution. Okay, well, I need to core more stuff. I guess I could invade the Mamluks. Probably not a good idea, though. I have no manpower. Uh, when we fight the Ottomans, we're gonna reconquer some Bulgarian stuff. And maybe take some cores, but that's... eh. I don't know. If I could, I would definitely invade this guy. Does Genoa have strong allies? Hmm. France? I guess that kind of counts. FCP's best CB, okay. Alright, well, hmm, thinking maybe Venice would be best. The only problem is uh, England and Castile. It's kind of a big problem when you put it like that. Pay debts? No, I will not. Listen, if I take the money, I'm taking the money. It's mine. Yeah, they should never give me a loan, ever. I am not paying it back. They can't make me pay it back. I don't have the money, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna take the money from me? Go ahead. I'll, 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 look, I'll look with you, you know what? You wanna take the money from me? You want me to repay the loan? I'll help you look for the money. Maybe we can find it together. You know what? I'll even I'll even upgrade Barcelona. <laughs> This node sucks. It's just awful. Is it even worth repaying the loans? The answer is no. Take the tech? Nope. All right, well, you want me to take the tech? All right, hold on. We'll wait two days, all right? December 31st. January. Ooh, now it's gone down by 10%. Now we'll take the tech. 
You know what I could do? I could even wait another year and still not take the tech. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll wait another year. <laughs> I mean, what's the like? Do I need the tech right now? Is there a reason to take the tech? I don't think so. Another minus 10%. It'll let me know if someone else takes it. I'll still get the innovativeness. You can no CB the Mamluks with it, right? That's what I'll do. How do you set to start deving? Yeah, there we go. See, that's valid. Except I'm not going to. I'm just going to rush through Plutocratic. See, let me, let me do some quick calculations. We have 363 days, right? It's January 9th, which means if we wait until January 1st of next year, we still get the innovativeness and it's 10% cheaper. Man, how bad is this autonomy? 58%. Bro. Do I just have to sit here and deal with that? There's like no event that's going to help me with this. I mean, not like I could really do much, but... Damn. There are no good targets. I'm trying to think of anything. I mean, Telemson's another several years, right? Two more, actually. Two more years. And then the Ottomans are... More? Same? Yeah, why are the Ottomans longer than Telemson? Can I peace out Telemson? Wait, no. I'm stupid. It's I was looking at the wrong thing. 73. I was looking at Tunis. I'm Aragon. Uh, right, so 73 with Lemson, same with the Ottomans. No fighting over there. What about Albania? We could take Albania. But I have no men. <laughs> Maybe I just develop chat. Maybe that's my fate. I sit here in dev for the next, like, seven years. Korea gameplay be like. Man, I should play Korea again. I love playing Korea. One of my favorite countries now. Shout out to the uh, two Korean viewers in chat. Maybe just one. I don't know. It's pretty late in Korea, isn't it? early there now there the see there you go shout out but uh yeah i think i would want help from austria uh we could use austria against albania fight venice remove their occupations 
Oh, dude, that would be so funny. Imagine, I remove their occupations of the Balkans. <laughs> Occupation privileges revoked. Okay, problem is uh, they have a stronger navy. So, yeah. Can blockade them to in Anatolia. See, remember when we thought we could do that with the Ottomans and then we couldn't? Yeah. Venice, uh... Venice. Venice. It is such niche tech. Vassalize Granada, you get a reconquest CB, which spawns a level one center of trade in Ceuta. Incredibly niche. But then we return to the uh, Portugal problem. Well, we do have the Neapolitan fleet and the Byzantium fleet. But then they have, like... Well, it's actually only them. It's not even their trade league. Uh... Maybe? Possibly? I could also just diplo vassalize them. No, I want to kill Venice. And I do want Kosovo. Ooh, uh, not my problem. Yeah, I actually want Venice dead now that I think about it. Now that I'm really considering it, I want Venice dead. Ah, uh, not that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll go for their capital. That's fine. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I want to conserve as much manpower as possible. I don't really want to siege anything I don't have to. Uh, so let's see. In this piece deal from Venice, I want this. I think. That's cool with me. Siena can just leave. Albania, full annexation, obviously. Don't know if I'll give that to myself or Byzantium. Wait, let's see. Uh, this is Europe, same continent, which means I would be able to core Kosovo even if I did not own Kosovo. Uh, where's my navy? Okay, actually, I kind of want Byzantium to stay here. Or you know what, I'm going to keep the 
transports there because I don't want them to fight anyway. Ah, right, this issue. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're technically on the same side as the Ottomans right now. <laughs> That's funny. You can record return cores of Byzantium? I don't think they have cores. These are, oddly enough, not cores of Byzantium. None of them, actually. You know what? <laughs> Just to mess with them a little bit. We do a little bit of trolling, a light amount of trolling. I actually will say yes to the Ottomans in this case. Oh, right, yes, cancelling those alliances. Right, right, yes, 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 you're right. That's a lot of Venetians. Hold on. I'm not sure if those ships hold men or not. I know they're like 32,000 in Anatolia. Oh, that's their entire army. Oh, never mind. Still, there might be some Italians on those ships. We don't want them to land or anything. Uh, how long do we have this until? 129 more days? Okay. Remember, chat, we, uh, we have to take that tack on the very first of the next month. Or not next month, but, uh, next year. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Their navy's stronger than mine. That's what I feared. Uh-oh. Uh, slight problem. Our navy still sucks. Yeah. Navy still sucks. That's an even worse problem, because we only have our uh, other ships there. We're just going to have to hope that they don't notice us. Oh, come on, man. I gave you mill access, but you wouldn't give me mill access. Are you stupid? I just saved your butt from Venice, and now you want to deny me mill access. No way you're that cringe, man. There's no way. You know what? You don't get mill access anymore. Unbelievable. Right, that's a problem. I just need one second. One month. And that'll be mine. Ottomans remain the, remain the cringe lords, true and real. Venice is probably walking around the Mediterranean, never mind, or the Black Sea.
Okay, manpower's looking low, money's looking low, everything's looking bad. We're uh, off to a good start. How many heretics do you have? It's just 10,000, just a few. Just a couple. Just a spoonful. <laughs> Dude, they have six... They have 60 ships. They have so many ships. They're not taking the bait. <laughs> I don't like that, man. Oh, okay, we're popping back into port. Damn it. Okay, the Venetians might cross. This is pretty bad. Hold on. New plan. See, we have approximately 10 days left, right? So if we wait like three days, if we wait like that, see, now it's even cheaper. What does Venice have? Tech 5? Okay, that's good. That's really good. Actually, you know what? You should stay there. Just like, don't move. Don't move an inch. Sorry, that's the wrong button. Oh god, they might have moved if I did that. There you go. Just don't move. <laughs> Just stay there. I'm calling France? I, I, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but uh, I think we're fine, actually. I'm gonna need you for this Iberian War. Okay, uh, what's that province? I don't care. See, there's Venice, I figured. Huh. Yeah, I'm just not gonna repay the loans. Repaying loans is for broke people. Imagine repaying loans. That's funny. Albania won a bet. Annexation. I'm annexing Byzantium. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't cross. You fool. Actually, wait, they made the right decision. Maybe they're not fools. Okay, well, I have to uh, guard this straight crossing now from Venice. So hopefully my allies can just do the job for me. 
teams were losing uh, on the Navy front. Pretty solid. You like to see that. I think they've actually gained ships in this war. That's pretty good. Uh, I like to see that. You don't happen to have an interest in this, do you? Okay, good. You know about the special Albanian government? Nope. League of Letia. I don't know how that's pronounced. Attrition, Fort Defense. Sheesh, okay. Still haven't done that Albanian achievement. Wait, did I? I don't even remember. Maybe I did do that Albania achievement. Hold on. I did do the Albania achievement. That's crazy. <laughs> Did that, uh, last year, July. You did on stream? That's crazy, I forgot about that. What's Austria doing? Losing. It's really sad. We just like to tell them they're doing a good job. Huh, right. Loans. That's funny. That's funny. Imagine repaying loans, chat. Can you imagine? That would be so funny. Uh-oh. That's a big problem. Uh, that's a really big problem. Oh, oh god. No, please. Stop. Stop crossing. Stop. 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 No crossing. No crossing for you. Nuh uh. No crossing. We need more time. I'm going to keep trying to get more favors with uh, Austria. Also, I want Pope Man to like me. So I'm thinking I'm going to use at least France and hopefully Austria against Castile. Although, uh, yeah, who knows about that Austria deal. Uh, distant war, malevolent ruler, kind of a problem. But who knows, Distant War gets recalculated in a bunch of weird and fun ways all the time, so I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, you're a problem I forgot about. We'll get around to it, it's fine. Maybe, wait, can I walk home? No. How far can I walk? That's not very far. Well, hold on. What if I ask you for military access? This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. So I know Venice, now that they've chosen their path, they're probably not going to try and cross back over. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to walk back over to Iberia. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> We're going back home, boys. Wait, no, I've been stopped. What? Okay, hold on. New path. Wait, this is land I can occupy now. Am I stupid?
Uh oh. Uh, I can take land back soon, so I don't want that top one. Is the plan to speed form Rome? Nope, not at all. There's no speed forming, it's just a, well, quote unquote, regular Aragon run. I'm just trying to pick up, like, two achievements, maybe three. Just vibing. Might be fine with that prepare for war thing? I don't think so, because, like, okay, so we can get plus 20 reasons. But Austria is at, like, negative 118 reasons. Even if they weren't malevolent, even if they weren't fighting another war, it would still be, like, minus 60 reasons. We need that Rome Peasant Republic. Well, I might end up forming Rome anyway. Coincidentally. Would it disappear if France joins? No. Well, maybe if they actually join, who knows? Can you just take Sienna, please? Thank you. You ever get bored of EU4? Hmm. Well, <sighs> it depends. The thing is, I actually like streaming more than I enjoy playing EU4. So, I'll stream EU4, but mainly because I'm streaming. Or like, recording videos, you know? I like recording videos more than I enjoy playing EU4 at this point. I still enjoy EU4, but not as much as I used to. It takes more for me to enjoy EU4 than it did before. Like beforehand, back in ye olden days, like before mission trees, uh, I could be interested in EU4 playing any country and it didn't really matter. It was just like playing the game was fun uh and even when i started going for achievements even after that point i was like okay the achievements are cool but like i don't care that much so i started getting achievements and eventually getting achievements didn't feel like that much fun like i would get bored halfway done some achievements and just never finish them like the perm achievement i Got like halfway done it. I, you know, got all of Russia. I was just waiting for colonists to finish and I was like, wow, I'm super bored. I just stopped playing it, right? Um, Stuff that I feel like I've done before. Like I've played several countries multiple times. Like, um, like I, I don't know if I would play the 1.35 steal like the Spain rework because I did a world conquest to Spain and I don't know if I feel like doing more Spain um England likewise I played Anglophile I did the whole Anglophile achievement don't know if I feel like playing England again uh, I've played like most interesting countries You've played for this long, you kind of need to do mods. Yeah, but then there's like kind of a... Kind of like... A conflict of interest. Because I like playing mods. Mods are fun. But the wider community does not watch mods. 
like sometimes or like every now and then you'll get like a real banger out of mods that everyone would like to watch but nominally speaking people want to watch vanilla even when i don't want to play vanilla so then i'll set my own kind of uh requirements and things that i want to do like you know then i will play more you know like uh speed forming was that for instance right it was like well now i'm gonna challenge myself to do something which isn't even an achievement i just feel like doing it you know Uh, basically, all roads lead to eventually doing uh, One Culture, One Faith, Roman Empire, World Conquests in 1450 uh, on very hard, you know? Uh, the siege is no longer worth it. We're going to chase down that army. I have a bone to pick if they feel like walking into Corfu. Please do not walk into Corfu. Please do not attack that. Oh god, please. Oh no. Oh, oh no, man. Oh god. It's it's all falling apart. It's over. It's so over. Dude, they're so fast. Oh, we both have one maneuver. Okay, whatever. Honestly, your mod videos are my one of my favorites. I do like playing mods. I feel like I have more energy when I play mods. Or when I do cool things. Mostly watch for the streamer, not the game, and that's the best kind of core viewer that you can have. Yeah, I want more of those. The real, the cool kind of people, you know? Need that. It's why, like, I, I thought maybe if I had enough time, I would upload a second video each week of, like, a different game. But probably, like, another Paradox game. You know what? You know how, like, Lathe uploads like a bunch of different games but he didn't always do that it like took some time to get there eventually that's like the that's the idea you know like that's the the dream <laughs> so to speak that's the plan why are they so fast they have one maneuver i have one maneuver what did you guys take like the maneuver tech or something how did you do that also, yeah, uh, war reps, money, that's cool, I can work with that, actually do that, cool. Let me see if I can actually... Hold on. Uh, do that. Ooh, not that great, but... Right now we would get a crossing penalty, wouldn't we? Yeah. But if I do this, then I have more maneuver and I won't get the crossing penalty. So it's the same number of fighting pips, but I... You know, I don't have the other issues. Dune and Bernard, Aelnar, Crystal Empress route. What the heck is that even? What other game genres are you into? Mm. That's a really good question. I spend a lot of my life playing Paradox games. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me think about that. Man, what do I even play? What video games do I play? Let me look at my Steam library. Uh, I got 
Baldur's Gate 3. Never finished that. I should finish it. I'm only like 45 hours in or something. Uh, I mean, I got Imperator Rome. Let's go. Hearts of Iron, Victoria 3, Stellaris, CK3, Factorio. Um, I played Fear and Hunger. That game was painful. I will never play Fear and Hunger again. Dude, I, I played 26 hours of Fear and Hunger over like a weekend. I also have Fear and Hunger 2, which I should play. Uh, I own Rain Worlds. Never really got into it that much. Betten Brutal, which is literally just like a parkour game that I spent 13 hours playing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's like kind of the vibe. I have Sons of the Forest. Kenshi. Age of Wonders, although I don't know if that's very popular. Uh, I got Raft. I got Kingdom Come Deliverance. Dishonored 2. Frostpunk, love Frostpunk. I actually will stream Frostpunk at some point because I love Frostpunk so much. Frostpunk 2 comes out next year, I think. But like, Frostpunk chat. I love Frostpunk so much. And she is so based. I played it for like six or seven hours and uh, it's good. But maybe I just like, maybe I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to be bad at Kenshi for the most part. I think that's kind of the point. Anyway, we're getting our butts kicked. Yikes. Bad shock roll. Oh, there we go. That, oh, that's the good stuff right there. You love to see that. Are you trying to walk onto this? Oh, hold on. We can get a stack wipe here, maybe. No one is bad at Kenshi. It's made to hurt you. No, I'm bad at Kenshi. No, like, trust me, bro. I am not good at Kenshi. No one has ever been bad at Kenshi until now. Okay, I want war reparations and money now that I think about it. Because I'm still a broke boy. Alliances, war reparations, money. Maybe like a fort? That's a good fort to take. I like that fort. Maybe that fort too? Or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, we actually can't because that's not a fort. This? It would make my life easier. Never heard of Frostpunk, would be cool to see a video. Think about Frostpunk is like, I don't know how to make a Frostpunk video. I mean, I can speedrun Frostpunk. I am such a... Listen, I'm, I'm like number one Frostpunk player. <laughs> I love Frostpunk so much. Play, play Frostpunk with mods then? I don't even know if there are Frostpunk mods. If there are, I don't know how to install them. Okay, actually, we're not going to take that. That's fine. I am okay with this piece deal. Actually, give me that. I'm okay with this piece deal. Because then I can grab this. And it uh, connects me up to Serbia. And, you know, connects me up to my vassal. Okay, both alliances, war reps, money, two provinces. Cool.
All right, it's just Albania. I shouldn't have to siege that. Oh, that went to Naples. Oh, that's super embarrassing. I didn't even realize they grabbed that. <laughs> well, yeah, have fun with that. That's cool. I don't even care. Okay, fine. I'll repay the loans. Did I already fail that? Nah, we're chilling. Let's go. See, I'll repay the loans. Fine. Looked up Frostpunk. It looks cool. I'm telling you, Frostpunk is such a good game. I will spread the gospel of Frostpunk far and wide. It is so good. It's such a good game. Love Frostpunk. Well, I don't need to take it from Naples. I'll just integrate them in another, like, uh, you know, three centuries. Whenever we're allowed to. Fazan Separatists? That's pretty cringe. get to work on that. I actually only need to siege that. Don't need that. Don't need that. <sighs> Probably wait for the Unity coding platform debacle to end. Debacle? Uh, I don't think that would affect me though, would it? Hope you're doing well. I am, Jacob. Thank you for asking. Doing great. Actually, having a decent game now. After the first few years being uh, a little bit rocky. <laughs> but, you know, we're number three great power. Couldn't really complain about that. We're doing decidedly all right. Yeah, we're going to have to bring another guy down to here, I think. And I'm going to cap on admin. Great. Okay, well, uh, I just have too much admin. Not much else to say about that. I guess I could just dev something. I don't like deving tax. I really don't like deving tax. I guess we have to dev tax. I've already reduced my inflation. Too much admin. I could make states, but all the states are in here, and that kind of sucks. boost stability I guess I don't like boosting stability with uh, with low uh, Republican tradition expand infrastructure could do that Like if I expand infrastructure in here and then just dev Diplo, right? Oh, 
Like, you know, if I wanted to do that, and then... That's something, I guess. I could also go for... Uh, which one is actually good? I think it's this one. The Benedictines. Gives you base tax, but it's only 50. It gives you local goods produced, which is really good. Or I could also get the Order of Santiago, which gives you manpower, and I do need manpower. But I could substitute that with mercenaries, so... Oddly enough, I wouldn't even be upset about, like, <laughs> grabbing this. Local tax, 25%. We're going tax meta? Let's go. I love tax meta. <laughs> oh, God. You can't change these after you put them down, though, eh? Which is kind of like that forever. So if you have to pick, you would pick the ones that give you the most long-term effect. Which would, of course, be local goods produced. Or the manpower. Or the dev cost? I might actually take the dev cost. What if I take... Okay, this sounds really, really stupid, alright? Listen up, chat. We have the opportunity to do something really stupid. Which is why we should do it. Alright. Tall Aragon Roman Empire. <laughs> so basically, uh, plutocratic infrastructure, economic trade... It's just all about deving stuff. Why not? Just dev more. Paul Aragon is super cursed, but... I mean... Oh, I mean... Why not? Heard enough, I'm satisfied. Isn't infrastructure better? Well, I mean, it's good because it gives you development costs. Economic has its uses. Development from manufactories. Uh, gold depletion chance? Okay, it's not that great. I mean, it's good, but you know. More goods produced? That's good. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just go with... Top option. We'll go with, uh... Man, that's a tough one. I don't even know. I mean, it would, it would be fun to go Tall Aragon. It would certainly be interesting. Especially since Republics give you uh, absolutely broken points. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go local dev cost. Screw it. Maybe I will. Maybe we'll go economic Aragon for the hell of it. Uh, sure, that's free. All right. It's a development of temples privilege too. Uh, when possible. <laughs> We 
we might have to make a couple of adjustments. I'm feeling good about that, though. Oh, wait, we actually went up pretty high in tax income. Hold on a second. Where are we? Here we are. Let me clear out everything. What, what is all that? Okay. Uh, maybe we have slight problems for the time being. <laughs> but uh, we have we fixed some of them. It's okay. More money? Love money? Wait, I actually have money. I'm not in debt. I can build buildings. Tax meta Aragon, let's go. I'm so ready. Alright, that's gonna be mine. Don't even bother Byzantium. I'm taking that. Yeah, I was poor for so long. I was in debt for ages. I forgot what it's like to not be in debt. Austria is planning to attack Burgundy. Oh, wait. What? You had the PU. What did you do? You just got rid of your own PU? Oh. Ah. Okay, whatever. Also a VTuber now? I am. Working hard to convert the community. I'm like a missionary in a foreign land, converting the Paradox community to VTuberism. It's a tough fight. The Austria leader die? Uh, nope, dude's still there. Speaking of which, restoration of union, that's kind of odd. Uh, doesn't seem to be a big problem, so I suppose I will accept after I do a couple things, like sell titles and remove something. I'll remove oversight and I'll give them element of temples. And I'll do this. I'll take land back. Uh, Pope man or money. Never mind. I like the money. Money's a lot better. And then we'll accept. Where's Girona? There it is, all right. We just need two more dev clicks here. Mmm, money. Love money. All right, we're gonna build more tax. Middle East DLC looks good and fun to break the game with. I, okay, yeah, so I looked at the Persia dev diary. Wait, that's out now, right? right? Hold on. It's Wednesday. It's out. Okay, that's good. Okay, right. So I looked at it, and uh, it looks... Yes. Looks very strong. Persia is one of those regions that has been updated like 63 different times by different mods. So they'd have to try and outclass those mods somehow. Because if you're not going to outclass the mods, people will just play with the mods. Uh, and I think they did a great job. 
there are so many different things you can do with it like even different government systems for countries that have formed Persia like there's the Ardabil one there's like the Akwayonlu Karakwayonlu one uh they're gonna allow Timurids to form Persia which is kind of weird but yeah I don't judge if Timurid Persia is your kind of thing I only stream you for modded based It better be, uh, Antebellum. Oh yeah, look at that economy. Number go up. Love that. Okay, we can't integrate Naples for another yes. That's uh, the scientific way of describing it. Okay, we have a slight problem. It's called three rebel groups in North Africa and an army at my gates. Please fire. Actually, I don't care enough. We're going home. Unless they fire right now. Okay, we're going home. Playing Imperium Universalis as Phoenicia. Didn't think that sentence existed. We're getting a Mamluk tree. We are. Can't wait for that Mamluk tree. That's gonna be solid. Oh hell yeah! Come on, Naples, you got this. Tech six. They have cringe tech five. You guys are chilling. Yeah, we're vibing. Let's go. On second thought, though, means I have to send people back. What is that? 14? That's good enough. Oh yeah, when is this truce over? 73, gotcha. Persia trees is uh, apparently the second largest. I believe that. It does look gargantuan. Absolutely massive. Can't wait for that Arabia tree. Want to see what they're cooking? Yeah, Arabia is like the worst formable in the game currently. There are no Arabian ideas. There's no Arabian mission tree. There's just nothing for Arabia. There might be an achievement. Maybe an achievement. Let me see. Arabia. Form Arabia and be the nation producing the most coffee. Apparently, I haven't done that. I don't know. Weird. You know, if I had a nickel for every coffee-related achievement in EU4, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I did not do the Arabian Tribal Federation one, no. I thought you just had to own Arabia for that, I don't know. Yeah, I need to clear on Portugal soon. Or, uh, Castile. There are three Arabia, Seattle, and Kaffa. Seattle? Huh?
That's crazy. I actually did that achievement. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. There are three. Own 10 coffee producing provinces and have your capital in Salish. I think I did that at the end of my three mountains. Oh, there we go. Finally, one rebel group. Takes them ages. But yeah, when is my truce with Tunis done? Uh, another couple of years, alright. I'm gonna want to fight Ottomans, I think. Reconquer Bulgaria. Maybe integrate Byzantium? I don't know, guys. Do they have really good anything? Uh, we're not gonna give them that. We're not gonna give them that. We're not gonna give them that. Yeah, that's a massive pain. Yeah, we're not going to give them that. Can't wait to see the new Byzantium tree, but I really hope they don't make it so that Byzantium survives half the time. I still want Byzantium to die consistently in every game, right? Like, I don't want them to live. But a good mission tree would be cool. Like, maybe one in a hundred games Byzantium can live, but that's like modern day anyway. The Ottomans should be broken. They should be overpowered. I want them. I'm actually counting on them being overpowered in every patch. I would prefer them to be overpowered. Please, Paradox, keep Byzantium as the end sieg. Yeah, I want Byzantium to feel like you're fighting a giant. I don't want it to be easy. <laughs> Make me regret playing Byzantium. Make me feel like rage quitting playing Byzantium. I want to... I want to I wanna feel embarrassed playing Byzantium. You know, I want to... I want Byzantium to be so hard that... I was lay awake at night thinking about playing Byzantium. You know, I I want I want Byzantium to be so hard that the average player gets embarrassed by the Ottomans. I, I want Byzantium to be so hard that I consider quitting the game entirely, you know? I want it to get embarrassing, like weirdly embarrassing with how hard Byzantium is. Are you hyped for the Persia DLC? Uh, I've been looking forward to a Middle East DLC for years, ever since Cradle of Civilization and then we saw the next DLC and I'm like that should have been Cradle. Let's go. Remember when someone said just like wait for the stability event? Huge dub. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's getting a little bit weird, Luca. But, uh, you, you certainly have the passion. Hold on, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on, mm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're going to war. Oh, we're going to war, baby. It is war time. What I lack in manpower, I have in money. And the Castilian economy is still higher than ours, but that's okay, because we have a France. An entire France. Okay, solid. Love that. Good. And allowed. I want Byzantium to start with three disasters, one after another, and every time your king dies is a civil war. I want to experience the collapse of the Roman Empire in real time, Centuries after it has happened, localized entirely within Byzantium. Ladies and gentlemen, it's go time. Oh shoot. Uh, Byzantium will deal with that for me. I hope. No. All right. We're doing it. There is literally no better time. We have to. Actually, I'll go for Toledo. Just to add insult to injury. We'll go straight for the capital. Also, France has an artillery. Is this some French thing I haven't played enough France to understand? Yeah? Okay. Okay, give me a minute. Um, we'll get one month. We'll wait a single month. And upgrade that. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% dev cost decrease. Let's go. Alright. Now we go to war. We go for... Toledo. Thing is, uh, Castile still has Tech 5 because they have Enrique, who is horrible. Did you get the Iberian Wedding? Uh, if you're a Republic, no, you need to be a monarchy. In this patch. In previous 1.35 patches, you could grab it, even if you were a Peasant Republic. But it doesn't make much sense for there to be a royal marriage, Iberian wedding. 
if you do not have a king. <laughs> so, you know. That would be a really funny wait. I almost feel inclined to just let them cook. Are you gonna land men here? I, I think I'm just gonna let them cook. See what they're gonna do with that. Or not. Never mind. Uh who who are we fighting here? France and Castile. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. I know France is interested in... Oh, wait, they're not interested in that. Okay. Weird. Yeah, what time is it? It's 3 p.m. I've been streaming for five hours. I have stuff I have to do today. And it's 3 p.m.? Wait, what do I have to do? Uh, I have to edit a video. Oops, I forgot about that. <laughs> forgot that was on today's schedule. Let's go, prospering times. I love how it picks these provinces. It just, it finds the absolute worst place you could possibly have this event. And it's like, right there. It's gotta be that city. That one. <laughs> well, it is a fish province and fish gives us manpower. Once you slap down a, uh, what do you call that? Soldier's household. So, modifying the manpower would be good. Why not? Plus mill power. I like mill power. Oh, right, Fazan Separatists. Uh, we'll get around to that eventually, maybe. If I feel like it. That's a lot of English. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll just finish taking down Leto first. Also, I have Pope points. I think I would like Republican tradition with my Pope points. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. More innovativeness. Plus monthly reform progress. <laughs> Can't wait to guess who'll win the next election. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who it could be. Thankfully, there are no term limits in EU4. I mean, if the people keep voting for him, you know, there's never really a reason to stop him from getting elected if the people like him that much. He's doing a great job. He's done wonders for the Aragonese economy.
Hey, um... Byzantium, do you want to, like... Do you want to fight those for me, maybe? Wait, are you broke? You're not broke, right? Ooh, they're broke, I see. Suddenly that makes a lot of sense. Broke boy. I can convert stuff? Okay. Uh, that'll take way too long. Not worth it. <laughs> Grease moment. You guys. Here, we'll pay off their debts. We'll build some troops or something. Jack 4? Despot? Oh, hell nah, bruh. I don't remember if I released them before or after I was a Republic. I think it was after. Okay, yeah, you're right. We do get good boy points with the Pope. Valid argument. Oh, okay. Actually, we have to beat up some English. Yeah. Come on, France. It's your favorite activity. Your boy. You want to fight England? Come on. I know you want to fight England. Okay, whatever. Come on, boy. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Please don't take Paris. I don't think the French would like that very much. Uh, can I hire Mercs, maybe? I can get the free company. It's not a bad idea. Come on, France, your capital's falling. Come on, boy. We can deal with Castile later. Eh, uh, okay, man. How are you feeling about that? They're feeling fine. Okay. Cool, I guess. Is that a good flight to take? What do we have here? We'll take that. Uh, actually, no, this would be better because then they'll get a river crossing. We can't really get a better general. Okay, fine. River crossing it is. I can live with that. We just have to reinforce properly. I don't think that was good enough. Nope. This is what happens when you don't help France. Oh, you guys got that. You guys are fine. Ooh. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Innovativeness is forever. But Republican tradition lets me re-elect, which also gives me more points. Uh, we're going to go with the innovativeness.
Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay, France can deal with their country. <laughs> what nobles? Don't worry about it. The uh, nobles of the army, the uh, noble men who sacrificed themselves for the uh, liberation of the peasantry. Silly me thinking that they would, you know, actually, huh, yeah, do something with their own country, but, uh, I guess not. Stack wipe? No stack wipe. Stack wipe? No stack wipe. Yeah, I don't know why France really wants to destroy Castile before uh, protecting their homeland from the English, but France, France moment. Maybe if we just finish up his steel, then they'll be fine. Oh yeah, truce with the Ottomans, I forgot about that. Well, there's no coalitions, so that's fine. We can wait. Too much admin, such a little manpower, suffering from success. Uh, ooh, I think I want justified wars, actually. Money's cool and all that, but what about taking land? I think that's cool. Alright, so if you have too much admin, what is a man supposed to do with admin? Three stability. Low inflation, maximum admin. Too successful. We've won the game, that's it, it's over. I guess we have to... Ugh. Dev tax, oh god. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Opposite tax haven, go. <laughs> you see, it's uh, it works because uh, no one's allowed to leave, so it's okay. They can't complain about the taxes if they don't know what taxes are like in other countries. Well, that's expensive. Hope is not me. Okay, cool.
Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Let me just, let me just, uh, yoink. That's cool. That works. Let me just, uh, yeah, let me just do that real quick. That's cool. Got a notification that you were streaming earlier, but I was playing with a friend and haven't had the time to watch and now I'm still streaming. As I should be. I just stream until my phone's like out of battery. 16% by the way, if you're wondering. So I use that to read chat. Oh, we have so much money. Rolling in the cash. Let's go. All right, of course, France has to peace out. See, this is why... France, this is why you are supposed to... You know... Work out the problems... With your own capital and stuff. This is why you were supposed to defend your land instead of just, like, helping me kill Castile. But there's, like, no sense of self-preservation. It's just, like... It is empty... In the, in the king's skull. The, the queen regent's skull. Absolutely empty in there, you know? It's just... Wind goes in one ear and out the other. They really, they just have no concept of self-preservation. It's really impressive, actually. You know, until today, it was thought that nobody could survive without a brain. Until they met the queen regent. big problem because you know England has 30,000 people all right well I wanted to avoid doing this but Sometimes you got you just do what you gotta. We still have the money for this, by the way. I love how much income we've improved. How much money we can pull out for wars now. Actually, do I want to fight that? I don't want to fight that. Do I? Tech 5, I do want to fight that. It'll take a little while for backup, but I think it's worth it. Uh, bottom option again. See, yeah, this is why I didn't want to... Yeah. Okay, we have to leave, unless we can get this three days. Uh, are we really going to lose that? Oh yeah, that morale is, uh, yikes. Damn. I just need to get England to think that it's, like, not worth fighting anymore, you know? Hmm, we're trapped. When do we get there? 3rd of April? England's the attacker. Not a great situation to be in. But still, salvageable.
can't keep sieging that. We have to move. Uh, nope. Yeah, we just got wiped on that. Okay, I was gonna say it's still salvageable because we have the same tech. They're the attacker. Uh, but it was just, it was too much. Okay, we have to focus on killing the English. That's like the number one thing we have to do. Like whatever it takes, because they don't have that much manpower left. We need to get them to think it's not worth fighting the war. So just like any way we possibly can, we have to attack them. Castile's already weak enough. Oh, that would be perfect, actually. Hold on. Wait, you shouldn't be able to see me. And you? You can't see me. What? at this for how many hours can still still exist well maybe you should watch the stream Take the tech? What tech? Like the, the top two? Why would I take this? Do you people just take tech like 70% ahead of time? Yes? There's no way. That, 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 that's a joke, right? You're, you're, you're joking, right? That's a meme, right? Right? You don't you don't actually you don't actually take the tech seven years ahead of time, right? Okay, I'm gonna fight this stack. Oh, what a great, what a, what a great combination of things we've gotten going on here. There we go. That's what we needed. Better if I could get a stack wipe alongside it. But uh, yeah, we just need to keep on beating up the English army as much as possible. <laughs> Why are you gay? What a clip. What a meme. That's a real 2016 kind of meme. Oh yeah, you, you wanna you wanna come siege that? Ah, okay, man. Thirty-one thousand. The English have doubled down on this war. I wanted to make them think it's not worth fighting, and they just whip out the Merc stacks. Okay. Uh, I didn't think they were that committed to helping Castile.
Okay. They're just that committed, apparently. Alright, well, uh, let's siege down that hill's fort. They can't even siege that. Why do I even bother? Come sunny. That was uh, an idea. We didn't we you know we kinda considered that a little bit ago. There we go. I can work with a siege race, that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. Don't like the way England's looking at me. Looking at me funny with that free company. And another Merc company. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, are these both half cost? Let's go. I'll take that, uh... Take this guy. Austria again. Cool. Have fun. I should sell titles. Yeah. More economic development, actually. This place is gonna be bussin' by the time I'm done with it. There's no man over the age of 18 in Aragon? Sure there are. They're all in Merc companies. We just need to hire them. Ah, uh, New Portugal. Uh, rival, that's good, that's good, we love that. We love to see that. Corbett, please don't conscript my grandpa. Too late. We already conscripted him to, uh, be a galley rower. Here, that was a fun job. God, you guys have spent so much money, haven't you? Like a third company? Army of Scotland. I don't know if that's a company or not. They, they've spent so much money on this war. Is it really worth it? Is it worth dying for Castile? Why die for Castile, exactly? I want every province to have a tax building in it. No matter how destitute, no matter how awful. I'll take that. Half-cost guy. Can I please just have this siege? If 
I have the siege, I think everything will be fine. Please? May I have the siege? Thank you. Okay, we can work with that. First, we go and beat these guys up. First of all, actually, I scorch Earth that. Okay, they've left. Good enough for me. Next, we move. I have no idea what England's doing. Can I interest you in... leaving? Okay, and what if I do this? They're not moving. Okay. Uh, what if I do this? Nope, 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 not that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yes, sir. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, sir. -y. Uh, never mind. They, they're, they're gone. It's over. Well, let me, let me do another quick, uh... Alright, England AI is definitely bugging right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, here's an idea. Hold on. Either they give up the siege, or they just take the L. Those are their two possibilities. They're gonna give up the siege. Well, I guess that's good, maybe? I don't know. Maybe this is bad for us. Well, with a roll like that, of course it's bad for us. God damn. Okay, never mind. We don't know what rules are. They're all bad. We move on. Okay, England would be willing to leave after that. Now the question is... Do I break their alliance with Portugal? Is it worth going far enough for that? Or do we just take the Union over Portugal and also fight England? Here's what I'm thinking. I think we can get France in again for another war. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. Please just take the union. What do you mean? What union? Is, is there some kind of union I was missing? The only union I'm seeing is the, uh, uh, the, the glorious workers union of the, uh, Aragonese peasant state. Alright, now we're looking at a couple of years to grab that. A couple of years for the next Miltech. We can probably beat up Castile now. Well, we'll just have to wait a second. You can siege that. You can siege that. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I want to grab... I have clams on everything. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to grab... Not that. This. 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 
that is this and that maybe gold mine might consider the gold mine seems reasonable I think gonna release Leon no I have a lot of admin that I have to spend so I, I want to core all of this because I have so much admin Yeah, I think this is fine. I want this because it'll connect me to Portugal and I can get a Union C beyond Portugal. So that's uh, the whole point of that. I should also maybe integrate a Union. Like I can't integrate Naples, but I could integrate Portugal or uh, Byzantium. I could integrate them. Also, we need to reconquer uh, Bulgarian land, that's true. Uh, how about we just clean up the rest of their army? I don't want a weird siege race. Call for peace. No, we're not done here. It still hasn't suffered enough. They don't know. They don't know true suffering yet. What are these cats? Bro, what? What is happening? Is that really just the morale carrying them that hard? Bro. Yo. Huh? This is another reason why we have to destroy Castile. That morale. We have to kill that. We have to destroy that morale. Cast it in the fire. Cast it in the volcano. We have to get rid of it. No one country should have that much power. Well, the morale... Okay, yeah, the, the mercs are up to morale. Or up to tech. Because they're a free company. Grand company, that one. Necessarily, they are of my tech. How you feeling, Castile? 10,000 men? Yeah. doing on that tech we can still wait more deving love deving tax love deving tax deving tax is my favorite kind of dev mm -hmm. love deving tax yep tax dev my beloved
Okay, we're done diving tax. <laughs> comrade Corbett. Hey there, Comrade Saf. How's it going? We're currently ending off a long war with the Castilians. To liberate the peasantry. As is our duty, of course. The Castilian morale is insane. How long do we have for that? 359 days. We should be able to grab each of those in January, right? January next year? Yeah. Chat, remind me when it gets really, really close to January. But I have to take that, okay? I'm counting on you guys. If I don't take it, it is 100% your fault. I will blame you guys no matter what. Doesn't matter what happened. Did you just hire people? They might have. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Oh, yeah. Orthodox zealots. Right. Look at that morale. Look at it, chat. 1.1 higher than mine. I hate this. I can't stack wipe them ever. It could be like a 1 to 10 and I still wouldn't stack wipe them. Their morale could actually break the game rules just to prevent a stack wipe. on bro I can't I can't I can't do this I can't keep doing this they just keep losing so many people I mean I've already lost a lot of people too but I can't do I can't keep doing this bro I can't it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay? It's fine. We've won. It's all over. God damn. Oh, yeah, that was something. Also, in order to get this, I just realized I have to take really specific provinces, but that sucks because then I have no road to get into Portugal. So that's cool. I do have perma claims. Actually, you know what? You know, I, I've already won the war. Wait, how did you gain morale from fighting a... I'm not even going to ask. I don't even care. Whatever. We're done. We're done. We are done. Vassalize Navarra. Yeah, sure. That's what I did. No problem. Anytime, bro. Okay, I'm taking all that. That was so painful. That was just awful. Like, start to finish, that was just bad. But it's done. The war is finally done. Is it fine, though? Yes, it's fine. It's fine.
All right, our loans aren't even that bad. We have conquered a uh, glorious amounts of Iberia. We have liberated several peasants. What do you mean the war isn't worth it? Don't troll me like that. We both know the war was worth it. Here, let me grab some land back. Wink. Avignon spawned? They sure did. Random Avignon. Wrong kind of republic. Sorry, bud. We're gonna have to kill him. Yeah, we might have to help uh, Byzantium with those rebels. Or I actually, I might just have to integrate them. Anyway, we have more wars to fight, actually. Fun part. Fun fact, uh, we're not actually done fighting wars. <laughs> See, there we go. So, like, they have two fewer forts that we have to siege. Plus, we got the gold mine. Yeah, that was worth it. Naples just needs to get home somehow. Oh, they'll be fine. They'll make their way home. There we go. Now we need to reconquer uh, Bulgaria. From the Ottomans. You actually didn't bring the men with you. Wait, didn't I send... Didn't I put you on the ship? Oh, you have too many people for the ship, that's why, right. Okay, we might have to wait a little while, like one year. How many do you have? 19,000? Okay. We can wait a year, I guess. Can we? We'll send over the other people first. Okay, we have to grab the next... Oh, right. I may have spent... a tad bit too much Diplo. Or too much admin, actually. Right. Well, that's fine. Don't need that anymore. We actually don't need that. Want a spy network? Great. Correct use of fewer kudos? <laughs> Thank you, but, you know, English is my first language, despite popular belief. Yeah, just another month. Ah, Venetian separatists. Oh, phone's at 5%. Let's go. Huge dub. All right, chat, here's the deal. Uh, let me grab this. I think I want lands for the church. Probably. How strong are the clergy? Eh, so-so. Okay, I kind of want to give lands to the church. Because we get to use more Curia controller powers or uh, papal po Pope points. All right, we get to use more Pope points, and that's always good. Love using Pope points. So we're gonna grab that plans for the church. Love that. Cool. And uh, we're we're gonna relax for today. Yeah, we're gonna be done for today. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna come back and uh, keep on fighting. Plus, my phone's at like five percent battery, and I use that to read chat. So. Yeah, anyway. We had a good start. 33 years. Uh, 
Number two great power. It's all right. Defeated the Ottomans, restored Byzantium, took Albania for whatever that's worth. Uh, we should invade Serbia as well. Yeah. I'll get around to it. Uh, we invaded Castile. Because we weren't allowed to get the Union. Uh, I also need to reduce that autonomy still. Oh my god, it's been years and this autonomy is not reducing. It's reduced 7% in like 10 years. Yeah, well... Yeah. I like how we've done, what is it, a single... No, two missions. Two missions, everybody. Give it up for two missions completed in this entire stream. Uh, I'll probably grab this one next time. Maybe. And then the union with Portugal, maybe? This is just a pain. Integrate Naples. Hey, God willing, who knows. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be enough for today. I am having fun with this, like, kind of cursed, pseudo-tall... Wait, hold on, actually. One thing, one thing before I'm done that I actually forgot, okay? We're going to let one month pass. Just because we can take this for the innovativeness, and I don't want to forget. All right? Here we go. Now we're done. Good thing I remembered that. All right, we're gonna continue liberating uh, the peasants of Europe tomorrow. Same time as today, 10 a.m. Eastern. 10. Is it standard or daylight? I don't remember. I think it's standard. Maybe it changes soon, actually, now that I think about it. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. I don't know if anybody's streaming right now. I could check. But, uh, let's see. I did not receive a notification, which means I'm going to assume that nobody's streaming. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here we go. Here we are. Look at that. Still there. Beautiful. You for Aragon tomorrow in the morning. All right. Good. Where did my background music go? <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait. Where is it? Background music, let's go. Alright, <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya.